It's locker, man. Right. We here with the Jackson and Jackson Five. Tito, oh, Jermaine, Randy. Yeah. You feel me? That's how we feeling. Episode four. We here again. You this cap ass nigga be trying to say shit off camera, then don't want to say it on camera. <laughs> he asked a ridiculously stupid ass question when everybody Lengthy knows intro. that was just dumb. Oh. You know why he don't have a hat on? And then we know that you knew already because when the camera come, huh? Just stupid. Wait, hold up. But we also got Remo in the building. What's up? Yeah. What's the word? What's the word? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. he got on his like no jumper best man. My no jumper what? what? You trying to, best. <laughs> he trying oh, to say best. you dusty as fuck today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> all, no, no, the merch, the no jumper best. No jumper, Yo, no jumper best. Right, no jumper with nah, you, that's it. It's the nah, flagship hoodie. Flag yeah, yeah, that's not what the flagship hoodie. That's not what the fuck he meant. Yeah, the no he jumper best. You got on your no jumper best. What? Yeah, right. Like, right. Like, that's what that means, right? Like, interpret it as. Hey, real quick, I'm let y'all know right now. I did the news with this nigga earlier. He's on one today. Hey, he said it. You I didn't say that. He said Remo over there with the no jumpers best. Today. And I'm like, wait, you trying to say, He's in a because good do we not have best and worst fits on here? And he talking about you got your no jumpers best on. I'm assuming mood. he talking about his outfit. Did y'all ever do the uh, the fits? Who had the, the best, best fit? and worst fits? No. Yeah, no. I've seen that we didn't, so that'll be on next week's episode. And you guys can send in suggestions. We're going to do a best and worst fits segment on this show and no jumper history. 90% of from it is going to be from any of us one here. nigga who don't work here no more. No, I, I, I feel like both for best. Yeah, I feel like T. Oh, what, what, are our, what are our predictions? No, our T. Predictions? Rail, T. Rail, Bossa, or, or Lush had like the best fits, right? Because Lush used to like Lush. Like the, oh, listen, hey, I don't know who Bossa is. I can't speak to Bossa. I don't what? know. Who he is. Early Lush here, like again, the work like early on, like working here, bro. Listen, bro, like what the fuck is he talking about, Josh? Well, I wasn't here, so I will have to take. Lush his just putting that shit on. I'm going to describe y'all, Josh's face. He put up with like with some LV. <laughs> bro, let's have that shit on. I wasn't like, here. Oh, I wasn't bro, here. Yeah, bro, I, I, yeah, bro, what the fuck is he talking about? Bro, let's bro, no, that shit I don't on. think no, I, don't, I wouldn't assume that Lush that would. He came in the business. He used to. Nigga, I don't car. We're like man. LVs, like crumb. Bro, let's have that shit on. Like when I first started working Just here. Just because you wear a designer, don't hey, we man. have that shit? Man, we finna. Where my phone at? Because he got I'm me. What you, what you opening the phone for us? That's okay. I'm finna find my phone and pull up some fits because he got niggas no. bugged up. Oh, so now we I'm can talk about- I'm not gonna give you a pass for that shit. All right. Absolutely the fuck not. 422 Lush that I met like working here, bro, like Man, was a good dresser. I wasn't even gonna do this. I thought we was done. I thought we was done with this shit, bro. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, and, he, and Lush, not. they called me too, by the way, for like 30 minutes. Not. And he said that he Suspect, has no issue with you it. and y'all are like family, so he don't understand why y'all, you feel me, are- Going back and forth. I bet. Lush uh, called you. I'm sorry. Say it one more time. I'm kidding. Yeah. Lush called me for like 30 minutes. Like, like uh, so, you know, we had like a long chat, uh, you know, and part of that chat was, and he was like, bro, like, I have no issue with suspects. You know I mean, right? Like, I thought that we were just all joking. Hey, man, you got to address that to suspect. I don't know what to say back to that. I'm not, I'm not dressing that shit. Okay. I'm just his outfits. Uh, just the fits. Good. Yeah, for you to say Lush is going to be in the best fits. Again, I wasn't here, so maybe I don't know. Yeah, bro. Nobody has some no, fits that was fire, bro. Okay. Okay. I have to take your word yeah, for that. Bro. Anybody yeah, else bro. before we... Uh, yeah. Because it's going to be on next week's segment. Lush, T-Rail, and Bossa. Absolutely. Who's Bossa? Bossa? Nah. Yeah. He's like the Asian editor. Oh, him. He's Asian. The Philippines is in Asia. Yeah. I got so many outfits I could just pull out right now, but we're not gonna do that, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm done talking okay. about that, man. That's just some predictions. Who you got for? If you have to give me one best and then one worst, um, prediction wise. Best, I'm of course gonna always throw myself. The fans gonna vote. Um, worse, yeah. mm, definitely Lush. Nah, bro. <clears throat> I've had worse fits than Lush, bro. Yeah, you. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, you bro, a Lush yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, come on now, bro. Like, you who? a Lush Shark contender with your toes out and yeah. his, like. Oh, I had to see some pictures before I could just. I don't know. Yeah, bro. I'll show you some I pictures right see. now. Because I don't even know who Boss nah. is. Yeah, go we've seen, listen, like, I we've seen worse dressers worst than Lush right now. You be seeing what the fuck niggas be wearing. Let's let's not do that. I agree. All right, so that'll be a segment next week, but let's get into some of the recap from last week, some of the comments and responses. Do uh, on the right look uh go ahead. Damn where it go. Oh the the comments disappeared. Uh Legata Lok. Legate Lok? I don't know. Loki, maybe. Legate Loki forty one seventy. I probably slaughtered that name. Dude on the right looked like a Michelin tire. Looked like the Michelin tire guy. That was me. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was on point. I fuck with that. 
Flacco pointing out the details in Almighty's outfit is wild. Hey, he 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 the did the Siemens. Yeah, that was the crazy. Siemens. The, the, the Siemens <laughs> of the it, pants. It, 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 the Siemens. S E S E M S. The Siemens. Ah, you said S E E. No, I said the Siemens of the pants. Yeah, S E A M S. Right. He said yeah, Siemens. Yeah, Siemens. You definitely you said the You missed. All right, six X essential hoodie is bullshit. <laughs> I'll go get that motherfucker out the car. I swear to God, that motherfucker is a two X. I just stretched it out. I had just stretched out the hoodie, but it started off as a two X. It ended up as a four. <laughs> what the fuck? A four? Uh, a four. four. Yeah, no, not four. four. <laughs> when you put your ass in, it turns into a four. Nah, four X is crazy. Like, oh, like that's like yeah. big punt uh, right? Yeah, I can't but. do four X. I, I wear a two X, you guys. Jesus Christ. Right. The John looks like, like a, a white, white Kia Soul with an essential sticker on it. <laughs> Y'all are so mean. Do you guys feel better when you talk about me? Like, this make you feel better? God damn. If you would have told, uh, MMA Gang said, if you would have told me Flock on Suspect would have a solid show after the Monday show got canceled, I would have told you you're a liar, but these three go well together. No cap. Somebody else. A nigga named Almighty Fredo. You know, oh, that's Dick Rodder. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, you got stairs. Uh, facts. They they had to give Flacco punch protection and incentives in the new contract. Ain't that Wait, what new contract? Wait, wait. Punch protection yeah, is crazy. But the, the no, person thing, is saying, yeah, wait, 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 excuse wait, me. Wait, 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 I'm right? sorry, excuse me. No, wait. But by speaking of like contracts, right? Yeah. Like, uh, can we, like, Josh, can we like just like explain to them? Because like, I've seen niggas coming, yo, yo, like once Flacco contract is over, man, the new negotiation. But Flacco, it, 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 I think it, that it, was it, it based, like that. I know, but I think that was based on stuff you said in your academics interview. Mm. So what they said, like, you I understand how it works. That you don't have to explain. Yeah, like a new, up there what you mean, talking new contract. Like, yeah, like it was yeah, NBA like the, contract yeah. and shit, talking about I'm up for for my max. <laughs> and if niggas yeah, don't bro, give it yeah, to me, yeah. I'm, I'm also afraid. how that works, bro. Like, that's what the fuck you was up there saying. You feel me? Right, like, right, like you go ahead. You feel me? Um, you know, and you ask for more if you think you're worth more, but it's not like. Yo, in like nine months, the contract is ripped up unless, you know, renegotiate. Nah, that's not how that works, man. Are still that do like one, two year contracts. Oh, where? So okay. their contracts are up and they have to either re sign them or cut ties. Mm, and that's why they say, yeah, bro. Because I've been seeing like more and more of those comments recently and I'm like. No, I did too, but I also like it does backtrack to like stuff that you said. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I think that's where it's stemming from. I will say that this comment answered an important question that I had. I am content with the answer, and I'll leave it at that. It definitely does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, What's but... The next comment? An integral question that I had. Yeah, but... Integral. Yeah, I never got a new contract. But Josh said, though, that's coming, right? <laughs> What's the next Damn, comment? Damn, man. It's in the mail. You didn't get Ain't it? no more comments? That's no, all of them? I think that should be it. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Let's get into the warm up. Uh, you guys know we talk about no jumper office and uh, staff happenings. Uh, what's going on at the store, different podcasts and whatnot. Uh, this week or over the weekend, I want to say you got into an infamous rivalry battle, whatnot, back and forth with O3 Greedo. It wasn't a back and forth, but yeah. Well, Except I noticed on what, like Friday afternoon, Friday evening, no, uh, Greedo Thursday, Thursday, Thursday yeah, or was Thursday. it Friday? No, it was uh, Friday we start seeing tweets. No, uh, I'm not that sure. was I'm not familiar. Thursday. No, sorry, it's Wednesday night. You sent me the tweets. Thursday was mm. when um you went on the stream. Yeah. Okay, so last week someday, Greedo let off some tweets that yeah. people assume were about me, but again, were about uh, Flacco. I have no issue yeah. with Greedo. I don't feel the way that you feel about Greedo's music. Like on the first episode of this show, you said he had like two months left. I don't feel that way. That's your opinion. And then he clarified it in a tweet. He was like, I fuck with Dijon. I fuck with all my suspect. I was yeah. talking about the other one. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. we just want to clarify that for the thousandth time. But uh, do we have any of the tweets to pull up? He was going in. And again, a lot of people, most people on LA Twitter, because I'm more active on LA Twitter, just automatically assumed it was me. It was people oh. tweeting him like, you talking about Dijon? And he would have to like reply to them individually. LA Twitter yet is not in my, like, in, like, in my algorithm. Okay. That's good. I need You're not from LA. I need it. No, right, no, right. Cause we don't even like hey, right? Cause I don't even like use like, for example, right? Like, like my personal Twitter is a Twitter that nobody knows I have. Right? Okay. And that's just where like I just look for content for me, right? Like bookmark shit like it. Mm. But like like the poetic flacco Twitter is where like I come on, I post some shit, like the news. Yeah. That, that, I, that. I follow that Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, I, I follow Yeah. That so like I need to do more, probably like follow more LA accounts to get uh, into LA Twitter. Okay, so um 
Arthur Greedo tweeted, this is on February 1st. He said, nah, he, oh, somebody said, did you well, go to the original tweet. Like, go to where it says my name, the response, please. And then we can find our way to the, uh, yep. And then scroll up. All right, so he said, I ain't, this is on February 1st. I ain't start making art 20 some years ago so I can finally sit on a couch with fat niggas. Niggas with an S. Yeah, Maybe talk about you too. I'm not sitting on the same couch. Hmm. Who's scared of me in my hood and argue? I do need Keep to lose weight. cyber bullying my side of town and I'm a bully y'all in real life. And then Black Stoic uh, replied, Dijon Paul with laugh emojis. And he said, could you go to the next one, please? Hmm. No, 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 no. Go back. Click back so I can read what he said. No, no, no. Yeah, he said, nah, he called the other nigga steady saying my name to go viral. I fuck with Dijon, no heavy. So I would assume that you're the other nigga. Yes, I would I'm definitely so. Dijon. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I'm not a fat nigga. Uh, you know, like, don't do that. Manos. What the fuck are we doing? Used to be smaller. What the fuck are we doing right now? Used to be smaller. Uh, but the fat nigga, there is no question. <laughs> not fat yet, though. Like, you yet. eat like a fat nigga. Yet. You eat a lot of power. 50, 50 more pounds. 50 more pounds, and you'll be there, right? But there nah, will be 20, no 50 20, 30, more 20, 30, 20, 30. Nah, nah. 20, 30, 20, 30. Nah, hell nah. It's not going to be right now. First of all, I who's more expert on fat? Me or you? I don't even eat meat. Me or you? Who's more expert on fat? Nah. Are nah. oh, you vegan? Yes. I don't even eat meat. There's no way that you're about to tell me. 20 pounds, like. But I'm fat right now. He will look. What no, listen. 20 pounds, so. Nah, listen. You niggas combined are big show. Trying to tell me about me being fat is fucking outrageous. You're not fat yet. I'm not hearing this shit about no yet. Well, he wasn't talking about no me. No yet, super, soon, coming, future, if you none of that shit from, from me, you niggas. He's not Absolutely a thin not. person. What are these niggas talking about, Remo? He's not skinny. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Huh? He's not skinny. What? Brooklyn. Ooh. Yeah, shit All this lying. Down. All, all this, this lying. As soon as niggas start talking out there, I talk about I'm fat. All this shit goes. That's the motherfucking. That's Greedo. You saying this nigga. bitch? All this purple on. All right, so about? so Greedo made these tweets, and then you ended up on the community stream. How did that happen? AD no, invited you. No, no, right, right, no, right. So we were already like like planned to be there. Um, so when I got there, though, right, <laughs> right, right, uh, and we started talking about. The LA rap stuff. Now, I was told to review a couple people's songs. I reviewed, I, I think, Traffic Song. Um, <laughs> a traffic rap song? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 sorry. If there's a rapper called Traffic. Okay. Um, and I'm not to cut you off. He said, Grito tweeted, niggas 300 pounds giving music advice. Nigga, you look like you listen to J. Cole, Macy Gray, and Missy Elliott. And we all know my weight. So, yeah. yeah. He's like, and go to the quote of tweets because I responded to it. We all, we all know my motherfucking weight. How much? I'm clinically proven to weigh 175 pounds. Good to a fuck. That is a fact. Bro, I weigh 180. This is water weight. It's no way. Baby you fat. Nigga said water Baby weight. I weigh 185 <laughs> pounds. This nigga talking about 170. I'm trying to tell you, this is fluid. This is nothing but fluids. Yeah, it's like <laughs> uh, uh, milk, <laughs> uh, like heavy fluids. <laughs> milk, condensed, condensed milk, <laughs> yogurt, <laughs> fuck out of here. smoothies, Some shakes, peanut butter, <laughs> fuck out of here. Yeah, it's liquid. Yeah, yeah, liquid. <laughs> fuck out of here. Jamba juice. <laughs> <laughs> What's that shit called? Uh, 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 it's like chocolate. <laughs> it's like chocolate, but it ain't Nutella. Yeah, you <laughs> Nutella, full oh. of Nutella. That's what the fuck he. Oh put. lord, nigga, full of Nutella. Oh, so he also called yeah. you no knees. He said, "Oh, no knees, get him." Yeah. Oh, Somebody shit. said that fat sloppy nigga, and Greedo <gasps> said, "Oh, no knees." Who tweeted? Yeah, I feel him. like the fans still think they talking about. He talk now. He just said it. He not <laughs> talking about like me. They still yeah, think. Yeah, no, he didn't clarify enough. I done posted it on my page a few times. He's clarified it. He not talking about. Me. No, oh, no facts. Yeah. So y'all let y'all do process. Kind of indistinguishable. I let y'all do process of elimination, easy, but, but he eliminated me. <laughs> this nigga don't hey, stop. I'm me. good. Man, go to the tweet where he say Dejana always says that, so we can get very specific. Uh, oh, you so want to find all get that? Very specific. I hope he delete that one. Don't find that. That's crazy. <laughs> Let's go to that one so he can say specifically who he not talk about. He yeah. says me. And he says Dijon, and he knows, so we know exactly, so we cannot leave no space right. of who the fuck you talking about. No. So. 
I like, we know though, right? Because right, like he already said it um, and on the stream, I think. But no, we just we want to clarify yeah, his tweets. Shit. We just playing around. Yeah, yeah, so talking. anywho, back to your conversation, your phone conversation on him. How did it go? Turn left. How did it get to the viral clips that we're seeing? No, uh, so, no. So uh, here, so can you give me some like memorable quotes from the from from the viral moments? Like, can can I get some memorable quotes of some me back and forth? Uh, it's better from an outside one. Okay. I, you know, one that stood out to story. me was you bringing up uh, how you were able to give your mom a large lump sum of money and like pay her house off or something to that effect. Retire her. Yeah. Retire her. Yeah, something to that effect. Something about you taking care of your mom based off of this and mm -hmm. him like kind of. No, no, wait, wait, wait. But listen, but like at that point, like, and he just roasted, right? Right, like. Oh, he was roasting you. Yeah, well, that's right. what we wanted you to say. Yeah, right. Like, I, listen, so, so look, so. I don't think that Greedo thinks <laughs> that paying my bills is corny. Uh -huh. Like at that point, point right, point right, like, you feel yeah. me? like he's just roasting. Feel me? Yeah. No, but though, um, yeah. So he like tapped in, um, and I kind of understand in his hair, right, hair, right. So like he told me, yo, like, like, bro, I'm not mad of your like like opinions on me. Mm -hmm. I'm already rich. I'm good, right? So I can somewhat respect him and say, yo, I'm mad because I feel like your words are going to affect the young niggas who look up to me, right? Um, and I think he named like 301 Baby and a few others, right? Yeah. So I feel feel like feel like that's admirable, right? Where like if yeah. he's saying, yo, because outside people looking in, he's being they'll, selfless with they'll it. look to yeah. you. Because they'll feel like, all right, hip hop media. Well, what's a person who lives in LA and they do hip hop media? They'll be like, all right, Flacco. He yeah. commentated. And then if they go on clips and hear Flacco say, "LA rap finna die in two mm -hmm. months," what do what do? But uh, your your casual would probably be like, "Damn, I don't even want to go tap in." And yeah, look. well, the quote was so just so drastic. You said LA rap is over. That shit's done. Yeah, that's so. It was sure. so such a drastic and bombastic statement that I feel like I can see how. It could be discouraging. It's not saying, mm -hmm. "Hey, you need to drop more music, or you need to put out more videos, and you need to do yeah. more interviews." You just said this shit is done. There was no critique. So that means hang it up, flash me. That's no critique. critique. That's not a critique. That's just There's like no a, a fake definitive statement because it's not done. At not all. as long as I'm here, I'm not gonna rest until it starts improving in certain areas. Sure, and it already is either. improving in certain. No, areas. No, right? No, right? So like here, so I do somewhat admire the the like fact of him saying. Yo, I'm the voice of these other artists, mm -hmm. but I think that I'm the voice, right, of of the media dudes who feel like they can give an opinion, right? So this is why, right, is because I think that I'm the voice for these media people. I can respect him saying, "Yo, I'm the voice for these rappers," right? So um, okay, you found the parallel, yeah, right, okay. yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right. Now, nah, I man, bro, like we talked, right, and he, and and like, and he told me, bro, like, mm -hmm. like. I understand like how the clip like came across, bro. But like, j just know, bro. Like, I have like no intention. Mm. And uh, so you uh, guys talk after the the scream. Yeah. Or, okay. Okay. On the phone after the scream. Um, to DMs. Okay. Right. And right. Mm. And he did say, bro. Like, I have no intention. I'm doing uh, to you. Yeah, right. right like, okay. That's good. That's good. I don't right? I don't want him to do anything to you. I don't feel like it should get to that point, but I could I told him we had our own conversation. We had a long conversation yeah. about him and I told him that I feel like he's wrong for even tripping over anything you have to say in regards to him because you aren't familiar with his music. Yeah. So the trip over If a over, nigga can't name five songs. If a nigga can't name one song or any you know variables Pertinent to my career, why yeah, would I care what he has to say? Can't so. name five of my songs. I don't care about what you're. I talking think about. that's his point, though, right? I think the point no, is that Flacco's saying that LA raps over, but he's not really listening to the music, so he's it's not really fair critiques. No, you know yeah, he's saying? right. He's but, fully right. I think, so but, but but what he meant narrative. was because, but I said it's, oh, it's other people who aren't who aren't platinum or gold selling artists yet, who are still trying to climb and get up there. Mm -hmm. And then if you got a nigga like this. Saying that this shit is dead. People who aren't from here or people who are here and they just casual listeners, they're not die hard music fans. They're gonna take a media person's word for yeah. what they say about the music rather than go listen to it themselves. So you kind of stopping people in their tracks from even giving it a chance be because you're saying that the shit dead. I just wanna say this might. Maybe that's what he mean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This mic <clears throat> comes with some responsibility. 
Like this is not you to be took for granted. You have to really like if you say a subgenre of music is over and it's done for, even if that's your opinion, at least do the homework to, to be able to that back up. that up. So, some, so on episode two, when I sat here and I asked you, tell me some, some of your um, favorite Greedo songs, and you not naming one of them. Cite your sources. That's what I mean. It's yeah. like. Well, how can you tell me his career over in two months? You ain't went back right, and listened to the no platinum problem. records. He has he has platinum records yeah, with an yeah, S. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, right. Two, right? Have you heard uh, Mafia Business? Definitely, right? But like, I just wanted to know. He I got. He I don't think he know. Mafia. What, 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 what the right? I don't think he. Know. What the right? That's nah, right? Shit. No, 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 no. I have a Greedo pop quiz for you. Can we do it? You guys no, ready? Let's do it. Come All on. I'm right. not doing. Listen, right? Yes. Wait, wait the right. Wait the right. So like, here's my whole point: is this right? Uh-huh. And he understood the right, like, like, from my personal perspective is this, right? Like, I was never coming across trying to be personal, trying to be defamatory, or trying to attack nobody. I was just giving my opinion from my perspective, right? So I can You got to know that LA rappers, not, not to cut you off, you got to know LA rappers is going to take a, to offense to LA rappers there. Sure, sure. Or done for. Yeah, or something, that's whatever offense. No, wait, right? No, like, right? Niggas is out here trying their mother. Some niggas, everybody, and I wanted to say this too, everybody not spending their money on personally. Some I niggas is you. out here going to work and spending their spend they last own yeah. check on that studio time, yeah. that cover art, everything. The same and they're way. trying their yeah. best. Yeah. And then a nigga on, on, right. on no the, jumper Real quick, the same and, way I spend my last on them freshman covers and magazine covers tracks. and all the different uh, platforms I have for rappers, I done spent my very last on that over the past five years. So I'm rooting for it too. I could have took offense uh, to what you said, uh, uh, but I didn't take it to heart because again, I know for a fact that you're not listening to the music yeah. like that. I, but that's why I, would that not, I wouldn't be offended. Is, but it's Putting in his last, and for that nigga who is putting right. in his last dollar not, on that shit, mm. and then you just hear a nigga say, "Let rap dead." Nigga gonna be like, "Bro, I'm out here working a nine to five. So, what nigga, are your you, favorite you know Greedo songs? You keep saying that's not true. What are your favorite Greedo songs? Name five. No, wait, right? Listen, but I was looking out for name five. I can name like you feel me like right, right, like crazy albums, right? But my whole thing is this: is kind of like when I feel like the like the quiz thing, like right, like the quiz or name the five shit is like is. Is it's just beneath a, me, right? No, wait, beneath wait. you. Beneath yeah, yeah, him. No, look. A quick you check. No, 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 no. Look, 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 look right. No, 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 look, right. Speaking my excuse, right? Me. Look, no, right. So no, look, right? Because I think I was on on community, right? For me, right, right. And just said it, right? Like name five shit. I named the five. It's like name ten, right, 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 right like right, right, like. So I didn't like, watch it, so. Well, I hope you don't take disrespect. No, 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 I'm no, not no. trying to disrespect. No, 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 I'll no, let no. you know that right now. Yeah, I don't, no, no. I don't mean, wanted, I don't mean no disrespect. No, 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 mm-hmm. no, right. But when I engage in those combos, right, mm-hmm. what I figured out is one is beneath me. Two is like he's unlocked it. And don't prove nothing, right? Because like for example, right, like, like, like I was asked like, yo, like name like. Uh, well, uh, like, like, um, five Atlanta artists. Well, that, or, or name like your five favorite West Coast albums, right? Or, yeah. or name like your three Greedo albums, right? Yeah. And when I name the three or, or the five or the five, mm-hmm. is well, right? Like, so like after like a while, it is kind of like I'm not really gonna write like. I think that's when big. I when you I can't ask, real, say what we gonna do because real, real quick with these questions. I yeah. asked you this on episode two of the show, and you, and you wouldn't answer. answer. No, the, at the same yeah. time, we was having a conversation about you saying LA rap is dead. And yeah. then also, I don't think it's yeah. um, invasive to ask a hip hop media person or even a casual person. Especially Again, when pay, you're pay, saying no, pay your opinion what I'm on saying. It. I said, give me your top five favorite. Every time I've asked you, I'm asking yeah. for your top five. I should be able to ask anybody involved in hip hop sure. or a casual right. fan of hip hop, what's you can't your say top that's five? You. No, that's your favorite top five. You, you meet five. people and ask them what, who's no, your top it, five. No, I can't ask somebody their favorite be beneath you. That how is that? That's it's not invasive. It's not condescending. It's just me asking you. What's your top five? Like a woman and you asked how old is she? It's beneath me. You don't ask yeah, a I'm woman just saying, her age. All I did was ask you your top five favorite Greedo songs, but if you don't have a top five favorite that you no. want to share, that's cool. No, right? That's his way to get out of no, answer. No, 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 no. What label is he on? Wait, though, right? 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 I can answer that. Wait, though, right? Alamo. Alamo. Yeah, right. Wait, though, right? Because, hey, right? Because the last time I was asked about this mm. and 
I named it. It went from five to ten to fifteen, right? I'm not gonna move the well. Don't you? I'm not gonna do that to you. No, I'm not malicious. If you have an understanding of the person that you're that you're critiquing, that's it. What's your favorite project by Green? These are things that I would ask you off camera. I if I was just chilling with you, say you smoke weed, we were smoking. These are these are conversations I have with my friends. If a nigga in my house and he tell me that's beneath him, I'm never smoking with this nigga again. It's hip hop conversation. That's what you do. No, no. It's beneath me. It's better than sitting around talking about who shot who, like who, who, who snitched on who, this who shot who. Xerxes we can talk about that bitch. all day, but no, you asked top him. five favorites. No, 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 no. All right, the right, Xerxes. With the right, no, right, with the right, with the, what I'm saying, right, is I was asked, yo, right, wait, right? I was asked, yo, like, like what's your favorite greeter project, right? I said, God love, and they said, oh, okay. We're not them. Right? Like, like second favorite, right? I, I said, probably like, it's still summer in... The project? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, right? So, wait, wait the right, right? So, whenever like, I'm asked is, okay, another one. Right? right like, but when I ask, not whenever, when I ask, like, it's, all, it's not asking. nothing. Yeah, if you yeah. need to talk about what's going on over Other there. Shit. I can't, I didn't even, no. I didn't even watch it. I'm talking about when I asked yeah. you on episode two, you, you could at least gave me one song. Like, you know what? I really like this one Greedo song. Just, you feel me? I could name some. I can name a, yeah. a litany. No, okay. of course. Yeah, yeah right. All right bro. Sweet lady. Yeah. Mafia, Mafia business. business. Um, and what's another trick favorite on anybody? Facts. If I part two is my favorite. Trap house. Um, um Ooh, trap um, house is cool. Um, it's great. Um, so many. Uh, fuck. What's her name? Big game. One drink too many. He got some shit. That's all back I'm like saying. I never left. Back like I never left. I, I think uh, that was one of his best songs since he came. Since home. he came home. Yep. Yep. You feel me? So make I just sure, think you gotta yeah. have a good understanding of people that you're critiquing. Like of usually, when y'all mention people that I don't know, mm. the first thing I say, I'm not familiar. Yeah, educate <laughs> like, me. I don't. On yeah, I'm, I'm not familiar. Like, not. let me go do my research on that. Right. I don't know. No, what the right? Again, I don't. Me personally, yeah. I just I'm going sure. with what I, how I feel. I feel like you don't know enough about Greedo to say. Nor do I agree with you that he'll his career will be over in two months. I sure. feel like Greedo's on tour right now. No, no, yeah, with the right, and that's gonna be two months. Like, like his like, <laughs> no. <laughs> You feel me? And he did a tour last year. Much. Like no, he's we, definitely he's not. His trajectory is not like down right now. No, like he's right? just recovering from his jail stint. Look, and we clarified that, that too. That about community, we would have been having a different argument. No, no, no. no. But why didn't you clarify it here? You can tell me what happened yeah. on community. Yeah, we, no. This is episode four of Here We Go Again. Why are sure. you? Why aren't you clarifying things? About on something show. you said Can here on the show right? that you're here. No, no, look, no, right, right. I'm giving you That's ample it. amount Let's of opportunities to no, yeah. right. So here, yeah, right. So people ask me and and like and uh, so I think it was Ad or Greedo asked me right about the two month thing, right? So from my perspective, is this right? Is prior to him coming home, I had these lofty goals, right? And what I say was when I say like the two month thing, I'm saying from my expectation of living up to those real lofty goals of being like a top 10 mainstream arch like that, right? Uh -huh. lofty. Those lofty goals That's is probably done for, right? And he can, all, listen, bro, he will always mm -hmm. have a lane to feed his family, be rich, eat, and make music. You mean going mainstream? He's one hit away from being a mainstream At any artist. Moment. He has all the makings I of a mainstream artist too. except for a hit single. That's the only thing he does he have. He has classic bodies of sure. work. He has a big fan base. He yeah, tours. Course. He headlines South yeah. by Southwest as soon as he came home with That's major brands needs. attached. Maybe the, the right merch feature. is going I crazy. Right feature, 100%. Oh, and yes. the right hook and he's out of he's here. He's underusing his yeah. melody because he could be giving bigger the artists melody, melodic hooks. The right hooks. hook yeah. and the right feature. So again, Listen, he's one hit away. He's one hit away. We be arguing this shit but we got to get us a fucking a our deal, bro. We have to figure True. this shit. Tell me about it. We gotta yeah. figure this shit. Yeah, we're good at no, it. No, we're right, but like, wait though, but again though, I told him that, right? I 100% agree, but my perspective is Somebody give me and Dijon an ARD. You come out of jail, label. right? With a bag. Like you're at your highest, right? Yeah. And we will get in you terms a, of visibility. A artist. Right? Like mm -hmm. in terms of visibility and attention, you are like you are at your highest. I, I, I'm saying that if the hit doesn't come when you are at your most visible, mm -hmm. where we have the most attention and on you, I don't see the hit coming down in two, three months, right? So, like, that's my perspective, right? But, like, bro, he would always have a great catalog, be able to tour, feed his family, mm -hmm. you know, so you really don't and think be you rich. have another hit is basically what you you're said. Too you said too much. You're Why did you put that time? live off no. the old catalog, but you don't got a chance of, of, no, of doing no crazy But where the two months? No. Why two months? And then before we move off this yeah. topic, why the two months? Then we'll move off. Sure, right. So look, so 
like hair, right? So, and he's been out now for what, for like what, like a, a year, a year and what? A year. It's February. It's the first week of February. He got out in January of last year, so a year. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. So like, yeah, right. So for me, it's like. I usually do it at the year mark of bro. Like, if you've been out for a year and you don't really like, don't like drop something that's like, right, right. Because when you first get it, bro, you're at like your highest in terms of visibility and attention, and people are thirsty and thirsty for it. So, if it doesn't come, then mm. a, a year later, I think is least likely that you would drop something now that's gonna like just catapult up. You know, I want to close with this. I yeah. feel like taking a year to rebuild, hit the road again. Put out he flood, put out six projects so yeah. you reignite your your fans the O three Greedo fans yeah. and then hopefully the conversation that I've been having with the poor car and even your conversation with the whole two months thing hopefully that ignites a flame in O three Greedo that makes him deliver a classic album and a big hit record because I really feel he's only one he's hit talented record as fuck though but yeah. God bless uh, Greedo man that's one of my before we get off this uh, he's bad talented man this conversation you said uh. LA Media hit you up. Some people from LA Media hit you up, and they were saying that the problem with LA is that they can't cover the artists and no, give genuine takes because they get offensive. Right? So, right well, here, right? No, I, you know I can speak to that. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. So, some media personalities mm-hmm. and hit me up and say, yo, bro, I feel you, bro, right? Because like, we've been dealing with something similar. Mm-hmm. And my perspective is, why is your bitch ass in my DM telling me this? <laughs> and why ain't your bitch ass posting this? Because again, mm-hmm. now me again, now me and Greedo is cool, is all squashed, right? Yeah. Um, but even like past Greedo, there were other like rappers that I've seen posting sneak shit, right? Yeah. You know, that you know, that could be deemed as threatening, right? And I'm saying, so you niggas see me going through it. Mm-hmm. And y'all bitch asses have been in my DMs to tell me what? Oh, yeah, bro. This how... No. Post in solidarity with Flacco, mm-hmm. right? They're look, not going to do that. Right? Listen, They're not going to do that. Bro, listen, right? Now, look. Yeah. Bro, I was disappointed, bro, when 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 I ain't Niggas see... Niggas just support you behind closed doors and not a right? public. Listen, since I put out that first report card, yeah. I have had issues with every right. black media person in LA one by one mm-hmm. from day one. So oh, really? recently, it's just that's just how it is. They don't like that. Who are you? Like, how dare you be brave enough to speak your mind? Be quiet like us and just repost it and do the stupid the Instagram shit. Is so and so the hottest artist coming out of Compton? Is so and so the hottest artist coming out of Long Beach? Is so and so the hottest artist hey, coming out of the no IE? Play, no that all, bro. shit is redundant. I don't Look. do that. I'm going to tell you how I felt about the album, how I felt about the music video, how I felt about the rollout. I'm going to talk about the production. That's yeah. just me. That's how I do things. If you want to be all timid and only promo, promo, that's a record promoter to me. Yeah, of course. If that's what you want to do, do that. But and that's uh, why. But why w- I, I don't understand why they was DMing you uh, no, privately. No. I, why why were they DMing you privately? No, 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 like, no, no. For no. what? Niggas want to act no, like no. they got a friend and shit, but publicly. Just say like, bro, you're not like, standing no with me in public, smoke. so don't hit me uh, Don't hit me privately. Right. I don't like that shit either. Now, too, though. Now. They thought they had a friend. Yeah. Now, too, though. Now, this person never DM me. Oh, text you? No, right. No, sorry. No, but I was expecting a, a guy called Alex Alonzo. I was expecting him to mm. put, like, to, at, at least, like, talk about it, post mm. about it. Say something about it, right? Why? Because Alex Alonso has positioned himself as the OG of hip hop media. Don't he usually do just gang shit though? Um, I don't it, thought Alex Alonso just do all. Are you rap. talking about NWA, Ruthless Alex yeah. Alonso, like world class record interviews. crew? Or are you talking he about oh, dude, talking about media person? Who, who yeah. do the LA gang shit? He sure. He interview oh, X Fo in the alley. Yeah, but give the pins though. He usually keeps his shit gang orientated. And I fuck with Alex. Yeah, right. He usually keeps his shit gang oriented, so I wouldn't the, expect him to say something. With the, Somebody else, maybe. Yeah. He, 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 right. So but yes, him. right. Mm. But though, and he also gave his opinion and actually, right. So usually on LA rapper gang yeah. shit. Though. Yeah, right. What about like what if about a nigga it? snitching, what about it? he'll comment, yeah. but not uh, us. But though, he's still part of LA media, and I'm expecting him to come to your defense, or even like just give your take on it and, and speak on it. But when I see an OG or, or or like or a guy who positioned himself as an OG in his media shit, mm-hmm. don't say nothing about it. I'm like, oh, oh. I would just say don't take that personal. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I, I won't take that personal. Alex don't I even fuck do with Alex like that. He yeah. usually do gang street right? shit, yeah. like more so. I'm, like, yeah, yeah, so I can see him making jail, content on this on this particular there. story though. But right? I wouldn't take that personal. Okay, so also over the weekend I had my rap report card live event. Yeah, uh, Hellcat pulled up. We graded oh, thirteen artists in person. 
uh, me, RJ. Can you head to my IG real quick, Josh? Me, RJ, and uh, Emmy Winter Storm the Barge. Uh, scroll down real quick. That one with the red bubble Wait, mask. Uh, up. Yep, this. RJ, Mr. LA? Yes, he was oh, my okay. judge. This is our second time doing it. 11 11, right? Oh, yeah, with yeah. the 11 11. It network. is true what they say. What? <laughs> the camera always make you look a little 10 pounds heavier. Wait, wait. What? Uh, Who you, why would you talk about RJ like I that? I gotta get in the gym when I'm. Oh, you talking? Camera, you talking about you? It look nah. You, I, I just don't want that effect on me. And who's ten pounds? I look great. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, so shout out to all thirteen artists who perform. You guys will see the grades <laughs> when it comes out with the Triller app versus TV. Okay. Nah, listen, like that's hard, man. Listen, bro, like you actually listen, like there's, like there's a few media niggas where I always say, bro, I respect niggas who work, meaning. Like having like having a fucking Instagram page, yeah, and posting shit ain't working. No, that's just the <laughs> sprinkles. Yeah, that's just decoration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post. You well, got to have yeah, right? actual platforms, actual visuals. Yeah, um, real in life events, um, real competition. Me? So basically, the winner of this show will be on my LA freshman cover this year, and they I'll be taking them to a label for a major label meeting with me. Oh, who? Uh, uh, with Warner for this round. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. That's right. They get a meeting at Warner with me, so yeah, yeah. That's right. Now, are they, okay. So, are they gonna get signed, or is that, that no, 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 it's just like a pitch meeting? Like you're gonna pitch the artist. Uh, okay, no, nah, it's dope. You don't man. automatically win because it was just one performance. They perform one song, so mm -hmm. you're not gonna just perform one song and get a record deal. How do you yeah. choose who's performing? Oh, they just sign up. I've been posting for you know how LA rappers a little, yeah. I don't know, whatever. Yeah. I've been posting, 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 and so eventually we got to like 13 artists. I was like, okay, that's cool. We can do it with 13 artists. But yeah, shout out to my judges, RJ and Storm the Barge, and uh, I'll let you know. We're doing San Diego next, actually, and in the Bay. Oh wait, um, and who's the other guy that's doing with you? Oh my God, I forgot his name. Like he's like a, uh, he's like an older dude. Oh, Eastside K Boy. Yeah, that is my other show. That's King of the Court, which is a rap report card show where I grade freestyles, and then whoever gets an A, all the A's battle rap each other at the end. Like, yeah, that's a different show, but it's like still with grades. And y'all do that when we do that at Shockware. We do that like we every Thursday, that. every Friday, every what? Oh, no, no, we just been putting it out sporadically. It's no like original day for it. It's a YouTube short format anyway. But, okay, but yeah, you. tap in with the platform, rapportcards.com. Next up, we got, uh, can we get the tweet real quick for the no jumper for, uh, freshman thing? Okay, what's up? It's the image for the no jumper freshman tweet. Oh, yeah. Okay. He don't know what cool, the fuck going cool. on. Somebody tweeted me over the weekend. I thought it was a cool idea. I want to run you, run it by you guys, and see if we can make this happen. All right. So at the Ohio guy Hector Camacho tweeted at No Jumper, "What's up with an annual freshman cover of your own? Use the Jean Paul magazine for the collab." Y'all will blow double XL out the water and don't make the mistake of doing a regional freshman list neither. I think y'all do that to include the um, West Coast rap category. I agree. We can have a West Coast artist or two West Coast artists and then rappers from different regions, Detroit, New York, Florida, the South. I think Houston. we should. How you guys feel about this idea? Listen, I love the idea mm -hmm. if the artists like cooperate, right? Because like, for example. Uh, if, if, if it's no jumper, they'll do it. No, because there's some artists like who like yeah, who they turn out XXL. Yeah, uh, well that and they would like like say fuck us like just cuz right feel me yeah. right like right like you know. Well, you know. if they don't want to do it, we can't force them to yeah, do it. So, we yeah. just gotta extend the invite to the people that want to do it. Yeah, of course, right? Like, yeah, bro, listen, like I, I'm I down. Do for me. Yeah, I think we should do it this year. That'd be fire. Uh, what ten artists? Ten maybe, artists from different maybe regions. They tried though, right? You said eight? Yeah, maybe but like eight. Ten might out. be too many. Maybe eight. Okay, now again, what if y'all have one of them Lambo foe type situations where mm. niggas don't, niggas uncomfortable. What? Don't want to dip out. But and now, mean, now you wasting a spot you, on the magazine. You could have another artist. It's not original. So it's going to be two. Uh -huh. they, they should be fine. No gang politics. They should be all right. Nah, it's only okay. going to be two. Yeah. And then everybody else is going to be from across different, different places. So, okay. You know, That's going to be fire. Yeah. Okay. I definitely think we should do that for sure, for sure. Because XXL has been dropping a ball for years. For years, many yeah. years. And I think that, that'll be a fresh take at it for sure. I would agree. All right. So um, Adam and Charleston White have been getting into it on social media over the weekend as well. Did you guys catch any of that? I did not. Yes. Uh, 
As someone who's logged in the No Jumper uh, yeah, Instagram I definitely page, caught it. I actually talked to you, Charleston White on the FaceTime recently, <laughs> that same day. Oh, okay. I was seeing the notifications for the No Jumper DMs. Like, yeah. I, he was in the DMs. So basically, uh, Charleston White that. came out and said that uh, Adam was begging for an interview, and then Adam uh, leaked it. Uh, great. His DMs or someone actually pitching the interview to him. I don't know. If we got the DMs. Up. Yeah. We got screenshots. <laughs> yeah. Here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So pretty much. So so like Charleston White. And like Alex Stein, which is, I feel like Alex Stein is my top ten favorite white boys, right? Like he's yeah, one of. Oh, boys. you got a top ten favorite white boys, but you don't have a top five Greedo song. Okay. Yeah, get the me. fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, right. What's going right? on? What? Uh, like top ten favorite. Uh, let me give my like top three because right, like top ten is crazy. You glazing at that point? Yeah, nah, man. Like top three, uh, Daddy Trump. What? Um. Daddy, what? <laughs> I Hall, feel like nigga. Adam has to be. What the fuck? He has to be like top three, right? Just by just default, right? So you Adam's got in Trump, my top twenty Adam, favorite white people. Right, like, right, like, right. He's in my top twenty. And three, which is really two for me, is Andrew Schultz. So, Daddy, yeah. Ashton Kutcher, definitely, because I used to watch uh, that semi show. I and, love that semi show. show. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Justin Timberlake, Rob, Rob De Niro. Rob, uh, he got a black. Well, he had a black wife. They got a divorce. Um, I was gonna say Rob B. Ted Danson ran off of all Whoopi Goldberg money. Is that his uh, name? Started Rob his B. career. So yeah. oh, Rob. How about Milk Seven Four? I don't know who that oh, is. Uh, no, not Robert. He's top ten. For, yeah, right. Top ten faith. Uh, uh, absolutely not. Well, the singer Rob B. And white faith white boys. Rob B. Is that his name? The singer. Rob B. Well, Rob. Um, oh. Oh, you talking about John B? Ooh, John, John B. John B. You John know John B. B is low key black. One of my favorite white Tina boys. Marie. John B. Tina Marie definitely. Mm. Uh, Mariah Carey, even though she black, she's been a swelling. Oh, Paul Carey Wall. Black. Her mama. Her mom had, is Jewish, and her father was Afro Latino. Yeah. Black. No, he's black. No, but I don't no, play like those semantics. If you black, you black. But he's Afro Latino and then white. Brother. Like Afro Latino and white. <laughs> It's like Hispanic and white is combined into men. Racially ambiguous, like That's Mila crazy. Kunis. Hell no. Anywho, wait, 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 wait. Mila Kunis ain't black? Wait, no, she's, sorry. She's like Baltic. She's Ukrainian. She's Russian. Ukrainian? Yeah. She's yeah. Russian. Oh, okay. That bitch ain't nothing close to black. She's white, what? right? She's yeah, white okay. as fuck. All right, so. That's what I meant, yeah. Let's like, read the DMs. We, we went off on a tangent. I apologize. Yeah, come on. Let's see. The Charleston white uh, related DMs. Yeah, we went to favorite white people shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. Let's get to this. Can you run it back, Josh? Anybody who knows me knows that this is not true. I do not need your old handicapped ass to go viral. What actually happened is I was talking to this dude, Alex Stein, who's like a, a Trump supporter, political dude, and I was talking to him about something totally unrelated. And he said, yo, you know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm family friends with Charleston White. I think I could get him to do your podcast. And I mean, I didn't bring up Charleston White to him. He brought it up. And I said, shit, if you could get him, then that would be crazy me you and him on the same podcast would be crazy i never had anything against charleston white his whole reason for not liking me is like because i'm white or whatever anyway that's it i'm gonna post the dms right now so you can see the nature of this conversation and how it's being misrepresented so i saw some so charleston white claims his issue with no, no jumper not. is because when he Can was I supposed to come here and uh and and like he was threatening with brutal force when he Gets here, so here, so, right? So Charleston White was, I think, scheduled for an interview, or what year? Was this a couple years ago, or, something? or he was supposed to come here, but then I think I'm not sure if it was ADT or, or, or somebody said, mm -hmm. "Yo, when again?" They said it jokingly though. When he gets here, we're gonna fuck him up and jump him. Now it was a, a joke, but he took it as serious. something serious and thought that Adam was trying to set him up. So then, mm. you know, he just never messed with Adam again. All right, so Alex, uh, what is it, Stein? Yeah. He said the font is really small, but it says my my pleasure, dude. You know I'm boys, boys with, with Charleston White. White. Yeah, you go ahead. Boys with Charleston White. You need to uh, have him on. It will get five million views, guarantee. I can book him for you. Adam says, ha ha. He don't fuck with me. He said he only likes racist white boys. Uh, me and you, him together, would be hilarious. And then he said I can set it up. He lives in my hometown, and he is a family friend of mine. And then I can't see what Adam says under that exactly, uh -huh. but it's not begging. Um, he says, uh, yeah, I'll be down. We'll be one of the most insane podcasts of all time with us three. Um, Alex says it was hilarious, and that clip um, got 20 million hits. I would love I would love that. I'll call him today. 
you would unironically get along with him and he would with you too. And then I guess he sends him a clip of whatever they were talking about. Family friends with a white boy is concerning to me. And <laughs> I don't know why. Like, family right, friends like, with a white boy. He can't be friends with a white boy. No, I got, a, I got no, a family, family friend. friend. Oh, family friend? I, I, I got a family friend as a white boy who married to somebody black in my family, though. That's I have, why. Uh, I have oh, white okay. relatives, like in. cousins that married white people, and, uh, and they have kids yeah. and stuff like that. No, not, no, none of no. my... Well, 2024. Yeah, she, she no, yeah, but that's kid. like we family, though. Yeah, right? that's still fam oh, family friends. Do I have... Why you give me that look, Flacco? Don't look at me like that. Like, hold on. Uh, hey, listen. I man. have white friends, so... Listen, if you is out here preaching that pro-black, F-white people, like, shit, bro, and you... Got close family friends as white. I don't know, man. That's kind of, that's sus. That's crazy. Malcolm X spoke a lot about that, but then when he went over to Mecca, he changed his, he, whole he changed view, his view because there was white Muslims praying to the same God as him. Mm -hmm. And he realized mm -hmm. he made a mistake. It's a great movie. Go watch yeah. that shit. Yeah, he should have won an Oscar for Excellent that. Excellent movie. movie. Yeah. Definitely. But they gave it to him for training day. But he, he lost. Anywho, don't get me started on that bullshit. Yeah. So yeah, I can't, I can't read these texts. It's too small. I'm not even going to cap. I already read it. Oh, okay, yeah, bro. Bro, how do y'all even see that? Like, I can, see, like, it I can see it, but I, I I can't really I can read it. Fine, y'all niggas. I can't see it. Crazy. Not Maybe one when word. you fat, the first thing I go out is your eyesight. Nah, man. Like, and I. That's your last fat <laughs> joke for the day too. <laughs> I have it written down over here. I'm just saying, bro. If the fat niggas is blind, it has I to it has to have them. some correlation. Nah, man. Like, like when you I fat, your eyes go first. Yeah, pre-diabetic. That was a no, little racist. No, these niggas post-diabetic. That had a little undertone to it. No, the fuck it didn't. No, the fuck it didn't. Because I'm black, I these got diabetes. Because I'm black, I got to have motherfucking diabetes. It's because all and that, all that too, Nutella like, liquid. Right? It's all that Nutella don't liquid. Don't get Flacco started on Josh. I don't want to get this back and forth. Wait, it's all that it's Nutella liquid. That's who it is. It's the Nutella fluid. We are not in the same ballpark, buddy. Josh. That's what the fuck it is. Listen, Josh is also fat, right? Like he's not. Josh weights fluctuates. But I am out of shape, but I am not in the not same fat. He's not fat. He's not out of shape, but he's not fat. Nah, Josh is If he was black, fat. he'd be fat. What? If Josh was black. Hell no. Yeah, man. Josh is just not fit. Now, Josh is not, not fit, but we, we're not <laughs> fat. Now, you niggas, different. That nigga? Y'all nah, nah. like, like 07 Shaq. If 08, Josh Shaq, goes to the. It was just getting bad. Shaq if when he with the Suns. No. That's what these niggas is. Son's Shaq. Don't ever no, call me Phoenix no, Sun. Shaq, right? <laughs> I don't want to be. These niggas is Phoenix Sun Shaq. Unless it's Steve God. Nash, no, Phoenix Sun. No, Flocka's great. Celtic Shaq. In yeah. The yeah, Celtic <laughs> Shaq. You feel me? Yeah. Celtic Shaq. When he was on his on his way out. When I get my Avni pick or whatever this shit is called. <sighs> the little shit. The, the Avni what? Oval team? <laughs> 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 like I already think about chocolate milk and shit. Now you never, now you negative one fat joke. Look. <laughs> Fuck, What's I can't help myself. Real bro. quick, make sure you guys go tap in with uh, no statements, which is Brick Baby and Youngberry Gordy show. They had Bonnie Lachey and Sharp on for their most recent episode. Make no, sure you tap in with that. No, it was Bonnie Lachey and some other bitch and Jessica White and oh, Sharp was the one. The it was two. It, it was the one like b before last. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and then also no jumper show with. Uh, DW Flame, Brick Baby, and Adam Twenty Two. And then they had Big Sad on the last episode. Oh, at the store, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I seen Columbus. that. Man. That's fire. That's fire. Shout out to Big Sad, man. Feel me? Yeah. Oh, so we we didn't get to talk about it last week. We're on the intro to his uh, new song, King of L.A. Did you hear that? Yes. Now, uh, is somebody actually posted it um, in, in our group chat? I think, right? Yeah, I put it in the group chat, but it's out yeah. now. It's on streaming yeah, platforms yeah, called King of L.A. It's a really dope track. He took the audio. We had the King of L.A. conversation, mm -hmm. and what did I say? I said, like, I don't really like the King of L.A. topic because it always yeah. comes with so many politics. Yeah. i just rather say, like, you the hottest in L.A. Because anytime you give King L.A. to somebody, it's some gang wanna, shit. Yeah. people want to bring up gang shit and street shit, and I just want to talk about the music. So hottest artist in L.A. is what I'll say. No, no, not right. So look. But, but I like the song and I no, like the concept. No, look, right? No, look, because uh, here, because I think I, I dimmed him, like, the other day, right? And yeah. it was because, like, I heard this track, man. Yeah. I want to get the title of the project. I think it's my side, yeah. their side, and the truth. It's it's called like wasting your time. No, that's not wasting. No, no, your no, time. no, 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 no. Oh, you saw this track? Yeah, your right. Time with a video, yeah, bro. And I said, "Yo, my nigga, bro, like Nipsey would be proud, bro, because bro, that nigga, bro, listen, like, 
Bro, like, saying bro. another nigga who passed away would be proud is crazy. Bro, that like, has evolved, bro. Know. So it's my crazy. side, they side, and the truth, and it comes out uh, this month because it's February yeah. now. Yeah, it comes yeah. out this month. Nah, bro, like, that has evolved, bro. Like he went crazy. I, my yeah. original critique, like on from the very first poor card, he got like a low C or something like that. People were saying like why, and I was saying yeah, that it just came out. He reminds me of he. I know he has the potential to make a mailbox money. That's my personal favorite Nipsey project. Mm -hmm. Make sure you tap in with that. He makes that lane of music. If he like just yeah. tones down the hood shit a little bit, yeah. and maybe some of the recreational drug usage, mm -hmm. and kind of just make it like neater and pay more attention to detail on it, because that project is crisp. The sonics, the mixing, everything is high quality. That's why he sold it for a thousand dollars a copy. Mm -hmm. People don't know that. Like he did the Crenshaw for a hundred, but he did this mm -hmm. one for a thousand. Yeah. I feel like Big Sad can make a mailbox money. Now listen. If he puts his mind to it. Bro, listen, like I feel like Big Sad is so important to I guess LA, right? That like I just hate to see him on a on a IG live, like responding back to like just random gang members. You gotta remember this is a street nigga who just got on. Yeah, that's he's still that. he he's still figuring out, you know, yeah. he he's still figuring out how to maneuver in this famous rap scene, you know? Facts. Make he, sure you go. He's still scream, learning. Give him some time. Scream King of Los Angeles, and then tap in with him on the No Jumper Show. Um, let's oh, get no. to the Grammys. You guys, ready to talk about well the hip hop version of the Grammys? Hip hop's part of the Grammys. Yo, um, this was the biggest clown show I've seen like from the Grammys in a minute, right? Which I want to start with Jay Z, Killer Mike. Uh, let's start That's with Jay Z. A lot that happened. Oh uh, yeah, let's start with Jay Z. Start yeah. with Hope. So Jay Z says Beyonce never won Best Album when he was uh, accepting his award for the Dr. Dre Global <laughs> Impact Award. Yeah, here, like we play the actual clip because I played it and it didn't get a copyright strike. Obviously, it's subjective. Y'all don't got to clap at everything. Obviously, it's sub obviously it's subjective because you know it's music and it's opinion based. But you know some things, you know, I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. Let's get it close to right. And obviously, it's subjective. Y'all got to clap. Next so even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys, never one album of the year. That doesn't work. You know, some of you, some of you gonna go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. Some of you may get robbed. So even well, by your own metrics. Yeah, yeah, Paul. About. Yeah, thirty. Right, so, she has thirty-two Grammys. Yeah, sure. But I don't like, for example, right? Just in like a sports like perspective. Mm -hmm. If somebody leaves the NBA and in assist for like twenty years, and then they say, "Yo, yo, bro, like, yo, bro, like, like this person led the NBA and in assist for twenty years and ain't win no MVPs," mm -hmm. no dud, right? Those are two different criteria, right? Meaning, like, mm -hmm. if she could have dropped a bunch of, you know, of great singles, mm -hmm. of of great songs, but her body of work and her projects. Mm -hmm. Haven't really like elevated to that level to win. As, she, as a Beyonce not, fan, she has that. classic bodies. Was of she, she does. What, of was course, she, she does. in the nomination the same year that that Macklemore won. Her album of the year that year. What year was that? Twenty thirteen. But that's rap album though. Like that, like right, like yeah, like. Oh, right. was oh yeah, that was an album of the year. Right. I know Good I Kid, Mad City did get an album of the year nomination, did it not? Yes, and Macklemore, yeah. you know, like Macklemore won, won the award. No, that's the best rap. I'm talking about album of the year. Period. We're not talking oh, about okay. album of the year. Can we look up Beyonce album of the year nominations, please? Yeah. Uh, thirty two Grammys is like damn. How many more do you want? But I get them. Again, I said earlier that Lauryn Hill is the only uh black female artist to win album of the year ever. Of course. In 1999 with Miss Education and Lauryn Hill. Okay, so like, what's the Beyonce stat? I am Sasha Fierce. She was uh, earned three nominations. Okay. Uh, including I'm, gonna, I'm assuming Beyonce in 2015. Okay. Lemonade in 2017. And then Renaissance in 2023. Uh, these are her best albums, in my opinion. Four and uh, B-Day, Dangerously in Love, her debut album, are her better works. Mm. So if they weren't nominated, then that's when I think she would win I'm Money right. for those. Versus these, yeah, but okay. So, so the Beyonce thing, you know, is cool. But here's my biggest issue with Jay Z. Mm -hmm. So, now, correct me if I'm wrong. Was any of the rap categories on TV televised? No. The Killer Mike one was it? No. Oh, it's pre-recorded. Okay, no. yeah. So they and they boycotted uh, Fresh Prince and uh, Jazzy Jeff and Salt and Pepper mm -hmm. and Chuck D. Public Enemy boycotted it the Grammys in 1989 mm -hmm. for the same reason they wouldn't televise the best rap album. And that's my point right there, um, though, right? Is that, that he's up there accepting an award mm -hmm. and groveling and begging mm -hmm. for his wife to win more awards, 
and he's giving it more validation I when mean, he's aware. And he did the same thing that he said because Eminem did the same thing too. Sure, Eminem, I think he boycotted or some shit like that, and then Eminem said he went home and watched it, and then Jay Z said the same thing in the middle of his speech. He was like, "Yeah, like." Um, something I was winning my award, and then yeah, I came up here boycotting. And then I went home and I watched the awards. We got to do better yeah, okay. as you're up there accepting the awards. Talking no, about y'all got to do better. But what, it was great. Go ahead. What though? No right. Triple contradiction. What though? No right. Very contradictory. No right. But that's but why. though, admitting to your cooning does not ex excuse your cooning, right? Meaning this: mm -hmm. if he's aware of the history of yo, there was a point where these niggas ain't even value us enough to put us on TV. Yeah. Like forty years later, yeah, why are you they don't value us enough to put us on TV. But you, as a spokesman that, for hip hop, that's Black American art. They wouldn't put us on TV, and and all of, there used to be a thing called race records. Right, like Black people used to have race records. Like it was meant to sell a product. Right, like it'd be like some coon shit, and right. then it was race department. So that's just the history of the music business. Unfortunately, I would just say that okay, Hov and Beyonce, y'all go to the Grammys and you up on stage complaining about thirty two Grammys not enough. You want another Grammy for album of the year. Why not go to the BET Awards? Why not go to the BET Hip Hop Awards? Why not go to Soul Train Awards? Why not go to TV One yeah. Urban Awards or something something like that? Why Do not? We not hold him accountable though. I'm I'm asking to hold yeah. him accountable. I always say it's nothing wrong with going to white platform. If I was an artist, yeah. I would go to the Grammys too. But I also would have my ass front and center at the BET wait, Awards too. Wait, wait, okay. So you will go if you knew that these niggas ain't even respect us enough to put us on TV. I would go to the Grammys because the Grammys consist of a lot of black people. There are art, black artists who are members of the Recording Academy. The yeah. president of the Recording Academy is Harvey Mason Jr. as a, a sure. historical black producer, R&B music, Tony Braxton, Mary J. Blige, countless hits, Oscar nominations, I believe. Yeah. So, yeah, the Recording Academy is it's a lot of black people in it. There's sure. whole black chapters. Sure. And those niggas don't respect hip hop enough to put to get it TV. right. No, 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 right? Uh -huh. Listen, even even if they get it wrong, uh -huh. cool, but you- To air it? But they, don't even but you don't even air our shit? Could you look up real quick, Josh? Did Jesse Owens, uh, I think that's his name, just like the, the civil rights or whatever. That, was it, what's Jesse Owens? Not, not the civil rights. He's a track star, he, he right? He did sports. sports. And he also was a civil rights oh, activist. Yeah. <laughs> he also used his platform to speak up for civil rights. Yeah. It's Black History Month. And he was a civil rights that activist. Nigga played sports. <laughs> but there's a Jesse Owens who's a producer. Yeah. Who produces the BET Awards every year. I know he does the American Music Awards, and I think he's done the Grammys before. Could you see if uh, Jesse, or is it Jesse Collins? It's Jesse something entertainment that produces the uh, these award shows. I think it might be a black man deciding not to televise it. Jesse mm. Collins is what it is, not only. Did he do the Grammys this year? I know the he Grammys has done had a long, before. long history of snubbing hip hop while simultaneously using us to popularize the shit or like to, to, to get more eyes on it. Like how the nigga Travis Scott did the performance. He didn't got 10 nominations and never won the shit. But y'all always had a nigga performing. He one of the biggest artists ever in the world right now. Y'all yeah. don't give you him no- You think that's no, a conspiracy? I, not a conspiracy, nah, but I definitely think they're snubbing him, definitely. Mm. I, I, I think he should have won something for Astro World. Something. Nah, listen, I seen a crazy clip where Candy Burris was like, yo, I was a part of like the Voting Academy. like. Yeah. I was like part of like the second group of like the secret voters. Yeah. And she said, bro, like we out here like just voting for whoever like like we see first. Remember, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't care. It's based on politics, friendships, yeah. relationships. So it is a flawed system. So Jesse Collins, the man behind the Grammys and Emmys biggest moments. Yep. See, so it's a brother who was who's doing this. He uh, produced, he started with BET Awards. I remember him. I met him before. I just got his last name wrong, excuse me. But he's uh he is, produces the used to produce BET Awards. He's a brother. Hell yeah, he mixed. He's a brother. Okay. His mama white. Hey, so with that being said, you said a brother, uh, a brother. You said that she's just. She said that she was just choosing whoever she sees first. No, you, no, no. Who's pop? Like, like, like for example, right? Like for example, if that's I see like crazy. a now list of talking about a brother, a brother, but he'll be up here arguing. Yeah, you know, yeah. black, yeah. No, listen. That's crazy. Listen, if you are fifty percent black and fifty percent white, cool. But if you are fifty one percent white and forty nine percent black. You gotta identify as that the white black nigga. gene is still. And he dominant. come across as 50 50 blend. You feel me? That what? nigga's black. Yeah. That's still a if nigga. You're 41. But um writing what no scrubs. What the fuck was that? Uh, by TLC. Yeah. And you know, she's written hits for everybody. So she has the yeah. I know she has the ear to pick the right record. 
because she's written for everybody from Pink's first album, Destiny Shout, to TLC. Listen, millions and millions of records. So yeah. she has the right ear to be voting. That's somebody I would trust to make she's the right talented. musical decision. No, listen. And all the ugly hoes are talented, right? You think Candy Burns is ugly? All the ugly hoes are talented. Oh, because she of was course. in Escape and, the, and Biggie caught them ugly. Yeah. L- no, listen. Mm. When it comes to like the R&B, right? Mm. If, if it's a good looking chick, she's, like, she's more than likely just like a mouthpiece, right? Mm. All the ugly hoes are the ghost writers mm. or, or the real talent... But, Behind the voices. That's an interesting politic, Flacco. I need mm. some examples from you. Missy Elliott not ugly. She glowed up. Missy glowed up. <laughs> she <laughs> not ugly. <laughs> Missy Elliott fine as fuck right now. What are we talking about? She glowed up. But real no. quick, give me some examples of ugly R&B chicks in the background that's just writing the hits, producing the hits, stuff like that. Give me one. One example. Now, listen. Now, this chick done destroyed Joe Budden, bro. So, so, so like, I don't even want to put like her name out here, bro. From, about? Hey, hey, Jaguar, from, right? No, oh. no. The R&B artist and who said, said like she's suing Joe Budden just because. I don't know who you're talking about. Mm. Hey, so let's get into Killer yeah. Mike, man. Killer Mike was booked for battery on Citizens Arrest. This new video shows security <laughs> face off in the rain. It was part. It has been pouring out right now here in L.A. Three Grammys, then you in handcuffs is the craziest shit in hip hop history. But yeah, it, yeah, he definitely. It, yeah, made it's the Grammys though. That that's gonna be a hard record to break. To get three Grammys and get arrested. He's a legend. Same. He's just a legend off this alone. Who? Wait, wait. And who's facing off right now? So what? And who's facing off? I don't. Oh, ah, right, okay. There goes the. Oh, he was talking his shit. Huh? This looked like the color purple when Sophia got into it. All the white people went down. Mm. I'm talking about the original. I didn't see the, the sequel. And ain't this still like Mr. BLM? He is an activist. He is also an activist. Mm. Yeah, listen, man. What hey, you listen. got to say about that, Flacco? Listen, me. Okay, so. He might have been, you know. Sure. Anything. If he felt dis- disrespected, that he has every right as a man to. We, we saw him. Nipsey slap old boy at the BT Awards right before he performed at Amazing the pre show. Victory slap. Amazing slap. I heard the full story be behind that too, and I don't know, man, but you know. Amazing slap. So what would you say? Excuse me if I interrupt you. What no, you yeah, no. If he felt dis- disrespected, cool, right? You know, him as a man, he has every right to, you know, behave how he would behave. But I'm just saying, bro, mm-hmm. like, you know, if you are presenting yourself as an activist, as mm-hmm. a voice for the underserved <laughs> and the privileged. Carry yourself a little. The, yeah, right. Like you should be carrying yourself with outright dignity. You feel me? I blame his team. Yeah. I feel like his team is supposed yeah, to prevent you, you, any you type of do interactions, your handlers, your security. They're supposed to be in front of you, to the side, making sure that you're not even dealing with anybody. you just walking or anything like that. No one's yeah. speaking directly to you. But I guess uh, it was other security that he get into it with in his heart. You know, security be like the real high power. Okay. So especially, I'm sure Grammy security act the more high like power. You a black man, you in here with your black security. Yeah. We don't know who the fuck you are. You getting awards. I'm People... a three time Grammy winner. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm no, sure he no, had... no, sorry, four time. Oh, four, four time. Excuse yeah. me, because he's won yeah, the previous one. Okay. Yeah, three, you know, three. Excuse me, four time Grammy sure winner. People had something to say backstage. You know, yeah. security always act the high power. So now the real, the happened. real question is before the uh, he before he won these Grammys. Was y'all even aware that he had an album out? And like, did y'all yes, hear Michael? Mike, I've always been hearing yes. about Michael Mike, is the most, music. Michael is the most critically acclaimed project that came out in 2023. We talked about it during our No Jumper year end wrap up in, in the news that morning. Yeah. It was like me, Mikey, who all was here? Me, Mikey, a sure. couple other people. I, I think remember. he was here. But Sean made a God, it. though, sort of like, right? Like, he plugs that nigga like every chance he gets. He so does, because they, they support each other's uh, philanthropic stuff as well. Philanthropic yeah, philanthropic stuff as well. Yeah. But right. um, yeah, he w- went on The Breakfast Club. He went on Elliot Wilson, Rap Radar. He was on every platform you could think of. Promoting. You could not know he. Listen, right? Yeah. So, right listen, like, even if you try to, like, even if you try not to know. Uh huh. Like you could not, bro. He, bro. He. Yeah, I'm not familiar with. Bro, like he got dude, plugged, plugged, plugged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know his name. Joe Button podcast. Man. The day it dropped. Man. I mean, like everything. Like he, he. The visibility Brand for idiots. that album. Yeah. Was definitely there, and it was from jump. When you name a project, Michael, you're talking about Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. So it has to live up to that, or else people gonna boo it. Yeah. Now, are we saying all oh, three Grammys? I, I don't know, I but don't know I, I, at least walking away with one, I'm not mad at it. No, I didn't want to read off. What about yeah. the specific uh, category of him beating out Travis Scott? 
for I don't know. Yeah, Utopia yeah, for Alpha yeah, Drake crazy. and Trav and Drake and Twenty One Savage her loss. Well, look, yeah, well, yeah, well, I didn't well no, that. wait though. Like the Drake part, I'm not mad at because Drake has said, "Don't give me a Grammy. I don't want it." Facts. Oh, he did say that. Yeah. So he like, did. if you, so hey, but then don't nominate him. True. If you if if you go yeah, respect, he's wasting the saying. whole category space. Right. I agree. Yeah, I you could have gave it to somebody else, and that would have been really big for them. Like I got nominated for a Grammy, even if I didn't win, you know. That's the way to get introduced: Grammy nominated artists. Yep. Facts. Four times, Facts. bro. That's crazy, right? So we okay yes. with one Grammy, just not three? No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm okay with one. No, hell no, because look, because in because in each category, like for example, uh, the best rap album, we all know it: Her Laws or Utopia. Mm -hmm. But right, cool. Now, second one is best rap performance. Um, mm -hmm. I think he also. Beat out Drake in twenty one seconds. What was the well? specific performance? Because they add like specific performances to it. Like they'll go to like actual live at this yeah. show or live at that show for yeah. the performance. Yeah, hmm. yes. Yeah. So then, like, uh, like we can check. But then also too, like best rap song is crazy as well. Yeah, so it's like, I don't agree with the best rap song. You feel me? I don't know a song. Yeah, I'm not going with best rap song. If y'all want to do best rap album, yeah. that would have been the one I would have just. And it was kind of sketchy but too, I don't though, get, right? I don't get the vote. Look, I don't get, get the vote. Rap, he couldn't get best rap album this year though. Yeah, over not Travis, over you, not over if, Utopia. You, if you taking uh, Drake off because Drake said don't give it to him, not even over Travis Scott. Like, if you seen what Travis he Scott sold did, four hundred thousand copies first week, uh -huh. plus the arena tour that he just did with that album. Come on, yeah, man. you yeah, can't. Yeah, he, right. he, he, that, so you that's politics Travis, in that shit. Been Travis. Okay. Oh, oh, well, wait though, but speaking of politics, but though, what would be the reason? Why would Travis? What does the Grammy have against Travis? I'm not sure, right? Listen, maybe it's because like, bro, listen here, right? Because look, because Nas King Disease also won. Uh no King no sorry King 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 Disease too right yeah one of his first Grammy ever yeah and like we and we're like bro like Nas ain't have the best album of twenty twenty two but I really like, like King Disease too that's what uh full circle on there he reunited with the firm he reunited he did. his right he did a tape but Vince Staples um, dropped the better he, album he had F, um Magic you talking about no, oh, no, no um, Magic Ramona. is the single uh Ramona Park broke yeah. my heart excuse me yeah that Ramona was Park broke my heart you feel me it's like a fire album with the mustard records and stuff like that I believe it's a little baby feature on there yeah right but uh no. I still would have go with his Kings best shit too. is is run the jewels with um with um what's his name the white boy I'm I'm looking for it right he's now. in a group with him yeah I like, I there like we go the Defo uh, East off LP that. LP is that his name he had a uh, more uh, heel on Kings Disease too I know too. he's in a group with the white dude yeah uh, Yankee and the right Brave here. or some shit like that so who's the so wait so who's LP the, is his name yeah this is run scientists and engineers with Killer Mike featuring Andre 3000 okay. Future and Aaron Allen Kane one over uh, Baby Keem and Kendrick Lamar song, uh, Drake and Twenty One Savage, Rich, Rich Flex, Black yeah, Thought, on. Love Letter, and Corey Ray player. So yeah, I feel like Nah, Rich Flex, come on out, bro. But Drake said, "Don't give it to me." True. Okay. Cool. Now, rap song though, we know is bullshit, and here's why. Uh -huh. So we know the Grammys are super big on preparation, right? Meaning like they update their site beforehand, mm -hmm. they send it out the package. Uh, listen, like the tweet is prepackaged. Their site is updated beforehand to go out, right? Yeah. So they went through all those steps and said, yo, Nicki Minaj won. And on the website, the tweet, they sent out cars to other media outlets and told them, yo, nope. Nicki Minaj won. But then somehow, mm -hmm. once the tweet went out, oh, they said, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this year or last year? No, this, this year. They said, oh, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. She ain't win it. Mm -hmm. Killer Mike won it. Wait, hold up now, bro. So y'all telling me that y'all had months to go through mm -hmm. all of this. Y'all tweeted out that she won. Mm. Changed the website and said she won. Told other media outlets she won. Mm. Right? Even Google is up there to say, yo, she won this award for our best rap song. You got the screenshots of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, then yeah. real quick, so you think that Barbie World should have won best rap song? No. But though, if you guys tweeted it out she won, told told other media outlets that, that she won. That could have been a hacker. That could have been anything. I don't believe no, that. They, no, no, no. Sorry. No, no, no. They no. stole the record. Problem did a whole press tour. Jason Martin, excuse me. Yeah. AK yeah, Problem did a whole- facts. Press tour saying that yeah, he wrote that said, record. Wait, but they said though that it was a mistake, right? Like it had to be a mistake because why would that song win best rap song? Why would a Nicki Minaj Ice Spice song? But you update song? the website and say it over just want to rock by Lil Flocka, Uzi You don't Bird? think they had like different variations for different artists? How? They, yeah. what? what do you mean how? You don't think that they had like different artwork that might have gotten uploaded by mistake? Mm -hmm. Listen, wait happen. though, mm -hmm. she happens all the time. But you update the website. It says, yo, she is the winner of this category. I need to see a screenshot of this. No, it, it's right facts. Like, like, it's not facts. I see a screenshot of it. Also, how do you guys feel yeah. about Lil Durk winning his first Grammy for best melodic rap performance all my life featuring Drake, J. Cole? I think that was dope. 
I'm happy I don't for know him. if the song actually deserves that, but I think the yeah. Dirk, Lil Durk deserves some form of a Grammy. I don't know if uh, for that. I think but it, I think that was good. Though, I think know? it did yeah. deserve it because it had a positive message. It, it involved look. the kids, and that's real hip hop. Involving the youth, having a positive message. I don't want him to win a Grammy for the shoot, shoot, shoot him up, kill, drill type record. I want him to win a Grammy for doing something positive. Maybe that might inspire him to put three or four more of them type of songs on each track. Just to have some balance and some level. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not at mad at Dirk one album, uh, winning for that. Crazy. Two. One album is cool. Two. Put that shit at the end as an outro. Like something for the kids. Cool you that. feel me? Um, I also don't know why Sizzle was nominated for melodic best melodic rap performance. I she know. be singing? Wait no, wasn't it SZA and Drake or just SZA? No, it just says oh, yeah. SZA I don't know alone. why they was putting her uh, in rap categories okay. at all. Uh, Spin about you by Drake, but Drake said he didn't want that attention by Doja Cat. They yeah. should have put Agora Hills by Doja Cat, and it would have won. And uh-huh. then you have an issue with Burner Boy being in the melodic rap. You feel like it's yeah. Afro beats. Well, yeah, right. Definitely. Yeah, right. Like, why is uh, Afro beats artist in best rap category? Before we the move ball. off the um the rap thing, I wanted to bring up one last thing. Why do you guys feel like Snoop Dogg doesn't have a Grammy? He hmm. hasn't made songs that can that the like it, don't, don't. I'll beat the others right. I no think way. His character is better than his music. Has been nominated for sixteen Grammys. Rhythm and Gangsta is fire. I'm not saying it's not, but I think like nowadays mm. his character and like his oh. his his, his brand. Oh, his music, his music his is brand thumbed is down nowadays. Music. But back yeah. in the day, I don't know. Nineties, early two thousand, Snoop deserved a Grammy. He had the best selling rap. Like, first drop it like it's hot. Drop, I was gonna say the same thing. Drop, drop it like it's like hot. Beautiful it's Charlie Wilson. For his whole for real run. Let's get blown. Wait, the blue carpet his, treatment album. Because at one point in time, that yeah. I don't know if niggas forget. One point in time, nigga Snoop was the biggest thing walking. Yes, on my mama. I mean, he's still in the biggest. Right? Yeah. I'm talking about musically. Though. Oh, musically, musically, no, was the Pac was the hotter in '96. I'm not saying '95. I'm saying at 90, one point '93, in time, '92, '93. Snoop was on Rolling Stone magazine. He was. He took Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg took hip hop. Mainstream, like it was not mainstream before then. Yeah. Nobody was selling them type of records. There was no big video budgets, none of that. Def, Def Jam was a broke, bankrupt label. We talk about LL Cool J and Run yeah. DMC and all of them, but to be honest, they were on a bankrupt label. The push was not there. Death Row did what they had to do to make sure that they got on the cover of Rolling Stone and they had big ad deals and Gin and Juice videos, a remake of Home Alone, and like yeah. Snoop Dogg made hip hop mainstream. So why doesn't he have a Grammy after sixteen uh, nominations? Can we see though, like which, like which, like categories he was like uh, nominated for and who he, he lost to? Scott got ten nominations and never won one. You know something's going on. Yeah, they got to yeah, get right? this right. I don't want them to try to give him some life. Don't give him the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award next year, please. And then that's the same mm-hmm. thing of why Travis Scott was feeling like how Eminem was feeling, that they was using him for to, to popularize the show, but y'all not trying to give him his due diligence no, as far as what it was. Yeah. So same shit. That, that nigga said, I'm never, ever, ever going to the Grammys again. Yeah, let's see who he lost so to. So nothing but a G thing was nominated in 94. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jenny Juice, Juice was nominated in 95. Grammy. Still DRE. Great song, 2000. And next episode in 2000. Next episode should have won. Beautiful with For Real and Charlie Wilson in 2004. Drop It Like It's Hot was nominated in 2005. Rap Sun collaboration for sure that should have won. I Want to Love You with Akon. These are hits. Sexual yeah. eruption. Who won the actual award? The right, well, like, for example, right? So like, if we say... Yo, you right. Sh- you got to compare. To yeah, right. One. Right. Oh. Yeah, right. Because if we actually see like the winners, we say, ah, oh, nah, bro. Like, oh, know. just I guess you could click on the category and we scroll back through the years. Yeah. Okay. Let's just do a couple of them. Uh, let's start with the first one. Nothing but the G thing. Best rap performance by a duo or group. Mm-hmm. And let's go back to ninety four. What's that? Uh, Digital Planets. Rebirth of Slick. Cool. Oh, I'm cool like that. Because I'm cool like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Man, that was Not a over bit, nothing but a G thing. Get the fuck, fuck out of here. Fuck no. All right, let's do another fuck one. Best rap song no. for Beautiful. Or, or best rap performance by a duo for uh, still DRE, whichever one. All right. And what, what year was what that? Year 2000? That? Oh, four? It was 2000. Uh, yeah, for uh, The Roots, You Got Me, Erica Badu. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Cause not, look, right, not over still DRE. Wait the records, look the records, look. Cause like for example, in 2014, it was clear robbery, right? Like Kendrick Lamar just off the win. Mm. But we can't say that any of these is clear highway robbery. This is how the fuck did in, he get best reggae album nominated for that Snoop Lion shit? Fuck yeah, yeah. no. 
Yeah, that's Fuck no, you didn't deserve no nomination for that. I ain't. All right, lie. last one. Best pop collaboration with vocals, California Girls. That was a huge record. Uh, who did he lose to? Uh, shit. Two thousand something. He lost to Imagine by Herbie Hancock, Pink, India Ire. What? This is a soundtrack song. Yeah, probably. Again, the California Girls was one of the big pop records. So yeah, shout out to Snoop Dogg. The Grammys did you wrong. Yeah, not wrong. He deserved like at least one, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he for was sure. robbed. All right, that's been sure. our Grammys recap here at Here We Go Again. You guys ready to get to the next topic? Yeah, let's go. Mm-hmm. What's uh, the next one? Aiden Ross and Playboy Cardi. Yeah, Aiden Ross just his whole screaming. Savage. Yep, his whole screaming. Empire right now. How are we feeling about Aiden Ross? Because we got the Playboy Cardi situation going on at the same time as the Twenty One Savage. Which one you want to start with? Listen. So let's start with the Twenty One Savage shit. Uh-huh. Now listen, bro. Like you. So like, what that shows to me is lack of respect, right? You came to a nigga house, right? Listen, and even the boldest niggas aren't brave enough to bring fucked up dice or bring mark cards to a nigga house and gamble. Trick dice. You feel me? But you bring a nigga. Like you come to a nigga house in front of a hundred thousand people and you cheat them. Now, Aiden Ross and Mito have like Stockholm syndrome, right? Because after Twenty One Savage like finessed him, he still like and on the phone with him and afterwards calling like, him bro, <laughs> brother. The, bro, I think uh, he's you, just him. y'all got y'all niggas letting this nigga fool the fuck yeah, out y'all. Because it's a skit. It's no way that this man has cards on his fucking website a month before this comes out. And then it comes out that he does some car game scandal. There's no way that's real. But There's with just that, no way. okay, you. I don't. That. I don't think anyone would take a hit on their They're like that, bro. Yeah, like their like, reputation. On their reputation for just to sell oh, some dice and cards. You'd be surprised. How? He took nah. a whole hit to his reputation following um, um what's his name around for a whole year. Who? Red plug. Um, what's his name? The Andrew. red pe- Andrew Tate. No, I'm talking about 21 Savage. I feel like nigga, the damage was done on his yeah. behalf. He, I feel like Aiden selling, Ross looked like the good how guy. How else was he, he going to get his product? How else was he going to promote his product? How, yeah. how, how else do you, no, do not you promote you're, you're, not, you're, not going, you're not setting up a whole stream where Aiden Ross look like yeah, a scammer to sell some dice and cards. Yeah, selling cards? Yeah, you are. You're not. If you're a dicey nigga. Yeah, you are. you're a dicey nigga, that nigga was trying to scam that nigga. I don't think he was. No, he didn't. And he just coincidentally. He's at the camera. Look at the camera like, man, that was. Come on, and, and then he calling them yeah. after the stream, like, damn, why he didn't give me the money? Y'all niggas are retarded if y'all think all this shit is real. Suspect, let me challenge that though. Do you think that'll make you want to go buy the cards? If, I'm a I know kid, that, if I know that these some trick cards, and I know so anytime is, somebody what, playing what with them, you know it could be like, some sketchy shit like, going like on. They, I'm not playing what with if them. That's the whole play yeah. to it that these is trick cards. If you pull out some 21 Savage cards, I'm not playing. New deck. I'm well, not playing with play. Maybe you know, they joke cards. Like, you never know what exactly they could be. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's no way that you don't tell me that this nigga got some cards. Why is that the fucking, merch? Why is that the merch? Like, who cool idea is this There's no this in way general, like, that, that, that you have a card situation yeah. and it's a fucking coincidence that this nigga Ben had cards on his website. Like, nah, so you saying he just wanted... I, I, you just can't no, I don't think, I don't think yeah. anybody going on street no, like a scammer <laughs> nobody in front of 100,000 people So it's a coincidence that he's selling cards. Yeah, right. Because he just dropped the album. I don't think that's the point. I don't think they were supposed to. I think and all of a sudden there's 21 Savage yeah. playing cards. Man, get I think he was trying to scam. Uh, yeah, coincidence? Bro. This is a coincidence? This is a coincidence. Yeah. yeah. Stop co- playing cards. Bro, let's nobody is and gonna you, say, yo, rapper, I'm a if no. it was a shirt. Who is he gambit? If it was merch. Fuck that. If it was like, a no, hat. No. All right. Playing, playing cards. Card. It's suspicious. It's suspicious. Get the fuck right, let's do a, right, right, let's do a poll in the chat. Let's do a poll in the chat. Playing cards? If it was a t shirt, yeah. every rapper selling shirts. It's suspicious. I feel like he wanted to. No. He made it about cards. That's too specific. He made it about cards. Come on, he made it specifically about cards. Cards. In order to promote the cards, it's the dumbest shit ever. But I wouldn't put it. I'm past not him. saying it's smart, and I'm not saying it's supposed put to it work. Past him. That's what some dumbass PR will come up with. Some yeah, white yeah. man in the room, 21. I think we should do this. Or you just can't tell uh, me. That's stupid not what a white. I uh, think. Come on. I think bro was down four hundred thousand dollars. Ain't no way. And he was not planning on paying that nigga that bro, money. Yeah. And <laughs> he just resorted to the last no, thing. His homie has some. Some trick cards, and he like, fuck, I'm finna win this money back by any means. Up, bro. So no, you I just, so. I mean, it's nigga shit. Bro, to take a hit 
Yeah. On your reputation for bro, some nobody ice. For that. Reputation. Bro, like, his name is Twenty One yeah. Savage. Reputation. He, he for yeah. people. What hit? Which, he's a top what five hit? rapper, bro. You not, about to. What you what you, you a, a top multi millionaire rapper, but you're scamming people. That's not an L. That's not an L. That's a super L. That's a plus. That's a win. He got backlash for that, bro. Nah, bro. He got a lot of backlash for that, bro. He's not J Cole. So I, real Kendrick quick, Lamar. real quick, one mic. You, you're about? telling me that somebody's gonna say I'm never gonna listen to 21 Savage song again because he scammed this white boy with some cars. Fuck out of here. No, nah, in a gambling game. Fuck fuck out out you gotta understand. It's probably a whole bunch of other niggas that hit 21 Savage after that stream and was like, yo, I've been shooting dice with this nigga and shit too. This nigga could have scammed me. I think it's bigger than in the Aiden Ross thing. I think, honestly, he was on there gambling with Aiden Ross. He was down $400,000 mm -hmm. and he had no real intentions to pay that half a million dollars for a stream. At all. So he just ended up fucking scratching his homie, the car. Yeah, he just last, nigga, $400,000. With his homie. Bro. This was a skit, is what I'm saying. Fuck his hell, skit, nah, bro. no chance, man. Who None the fuck of this matters. No Nobody chance, was ever getting skit, 40, 000. No. They planned this. It's, it's a, a piece skit. of paper with 400,000, almost half a million. It's a skit. Yeah. It's no way. He was what? down 400,000. I just got playing cards on my. Carson, I just paid 300,000, though. As I just so happened. Carson, I just paid Aiden Ross 300,000. No. 21, 21 Savage, Savage beat Casanad in 2K for 300K. Casanad like wired him the money. That's a gambling addiction at that point. <laughs> what? That's not off one game. They had to keep going, right? No, 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 no. Uh, no. They played Madden in 2K, so it was like two games. Oh, okay. I'm about to say like a tournament. Um, again, I still feel like it's a skit, but if you guys feel I like it's, it's real, I can't change your opinion on yeah, that. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's made up. There's no now, way you got get, playing cards. Now, let's get to the, uh, to the other one. Yo, listen. I'll be real, yo. What is it? I can't see. The the options try to promote selling his cars or scam Aiden. Fifty seven percent scam. I think Aiden. that shit fake. Yeah, scam Aiden for sure, for sure. Right now, nah, but listen, Aiden Ross is the new like. Remember like how like in like 2018, 2019, mm. like the sugar daddy of hip hop was like Steve will do it. Now it's Aiden Ross, and these niggas see him as the easiest lick in the world. Yo, listen, Russell, so Playboy Cardi, right? Like yeah, I want to talk about Play Playboy Cardi in that mask. Yeah, right. Because look. So the agreement was he pops up for and do like an hour stream, right? Yep. So Cardi is thinking, man, bro, ain't no way this nigga is stupid enough to pay me two million for an hour. And a new Ferrari. Yeah, right. So he's taking a long time like to like pop up, right? And and like he shows up and he's thinking, man, bro, it ain't no way no nigga is this desperate enough to pay me a Ferrari and two million. So he left. Then Aiden Ross sh like shows the cash and on stream like yo bro like damn bro like you like missed out on this but you folded so he like hold up bro. there's a nigga this stupid enough who will pay me two million to be on stream yeah oh I need that pull back up I'm grab that got the money listen Aiden said bro dude 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 you want to sit down and this nigga said no sit up with me bro you should know right. If you said, you bro, niggas are so that. gullible. Man, this come on, crazy. Man. You niggas are like children watching the WWE. What? No, like, what the fuck? Skit. Skit. It was all a lie. It's not a skit, bro. It was all a lie. Y'all look crazy if y'all think that's a skit, man. It was a skit, skit, skit it's man. New skit. He was it's, never giving that nigga two million dollars in a new Ferrari. Get the fuck out of here. What? I think this is for niggas rollout. He wasn't giving him no fucking new Ferrari and two million. Right when he he gave Fusi a hundred thousand and the same two million. Look, the same month that's the first time cardi has dropped more than one song within the same month ever he dropped three songs with within the last 30 yeah. 30 to 60 days yeah. which brings up my point rollout this is all rollout that's what it says in the notes i'll put it in the notes because i feel like this is all just part of rollout nah, man. if you you got a link with a screen we saw Nicki minaj do it with kaisa not like elliot wilson said this is new hip-hop journalism if you put out some music you got something yeah. coming out 21 just dropped cardi just dropped you have to go see a streamer and come up with some bullshit. I agree it was rollout. I think it was just a rollout gone bad. I think oh, Cardi so. agreed to go on this stream as a part of the rollout to like Real. gas up the album, the Iron Music album that he's dropping. Yep. But the thing is, when he finally got there, he realized like, damn, I'm about to have to like kind of break my mystique and answer a lot of questions. Mm. And it's not going to, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how it's going to translate yeah. with the audience. And I so, think that's really... What happened? I think when he got there, he kind of was like, "There's four hundred thousand people here. Yeah. I ain't really trying to answer these fucking questions." His fans, listen. He got anxiety or something? No, no. Nah, his whole persona he's is him being fear. mysterious. You don't see him much. He don't take that many. He just kind of like started taking pictures and shit and dropping yeah. within the last rapping. month or two. He listen. was only there for six minutes and nineteen seconds. But he promised Aiden a whole hour of answering questions, yeah. playing games and shit, and it was kind of like I yeah. think it was. Aiden, listen, right? I no. thought he said, "Pull up for no. five minutes, pull up for ten minutes, and did." No, listen. 
And here's how I know it's not a skit because his audience has turned against him. Exactly. Y'all like, keep talking about this imaginary backlash. What, what, no, 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 bro, no, 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 no. He has like 100,000 comments a 40 million of L's. view tweet right now. Mm. A, a nigga saying, bro, he he beat his wife. Sorry, like like, like he beat his girl. He, he, he like shot at Ruby Rose. Like, like, like he's being canceled right now for doing his bullshit, right? Because he walked out of an interview, a stream, he's being canceled. No, because like it comes off as a scumbag. You pull up. You promise his fans and your fans, yo, you're going to do this epic stream. You pull up, you take his money and leave. Because I'm an understanding person, I'll just say this. Yeah. You guys are saying that these rappers need to take these streaming platforms more serious. Be respectful. Show up on time. Stay for the time you committed. Don't scam them out of money with trick cards because streaming platforms mm. are serious platforms with real fans. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? 100%. I, 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 rappers, won't, I won't disagree with that. All I'm saying is I feel like sometimes some of the shit we see on these streams, whether it's Nia, Aiden, Kai, Ugh. be scripted. Facts. No, I like and I know that. I, I, I can tell what's scripted and what's not scripted. For I just sure. don't think I a think rapper is this lies. dumb to get this much backlash over. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he purposely tried to like, How this is really hurting him. Really getting oh, no, it's a lot right now. A lot. Right Go look at his no, comments. His comments jumped 100,000. I don't feel like that hurts the streams, Remo. I don't think that hurts the streams. If my shows are still selling out, if my streams are still streaming, how the Fuck are a thousand L comments? No, a hundred thousand L comments. No, I no, think that's a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand of your fans. It's bad right now, though, bro. Like, it's, it's bad. It's they like, doxing his sister, all type of shit. Oh, they're, they're taking it too far. They doing a uh, barb. Type I'm just stuff. saying that's, that's not. The that's not doxing. He won't sign up to make himself look like the complete How piece of shit. How do you know it was that? gonna get that bad? How do you, you took, know that they're gonna dox me? Because you took two million <laughs> from a nigga that you think and they scammed your dox audience you? of skin made in Raws. Like, like, right? Like, they're gonna like. I think y'all giving niggas way too much credit. So, I think y'all giving niggas credit. too much credit and thinking that <laughs> they uh, coming uh, up with these genius ass skits. That's not genius to me. I mean, yeah, it is. If this that's was a skit, genius. this was genius. Oh, pull up for five works. minutes. I think it's a skit. Five minutes. Then that's a genius skit, right? I don't. I would say it was. I don't think it's a detailed. Like, uh, we're going to write It's not something down. I couldn't come up with, though. Anybody can come up with that. Nigga, come in here for five minutes. I'm going to tell him, I'm going to give you two mil, just leave, and then we're going to be like, damn, he's scamming, y'all. I feel like the number the amount fuck? makes me suspicious. The two million makes me suspicious. But it makes me feel like he's huge deals, though. Like, the dude, on who, yeah, the kick is handing out. I think the guy who owns And he wanted to sign Playboy Cardi, too, by the way. Yeah, they was going to give him a $30 million kick deal, yeah. like, right after that So shit. we're going to give you two million for an hour. Yes. 18. They're and a new Ferrari. They're competing with Twitch. So Kick is this new company that has a lot of money. I think the guy who owns it owns Steak as well. So like yeah. they have a lot of money to fucking hand out. Mm. So they know if we can get Cardi on there, mm. he's bringing 400,000 people live. Mm. Hell yeah, this is a good endorsement. You know what I'm saying? Like, and listen, though. And also, too, bro. Yo, when I seen like, yo, 21 Savage called this man after Aiden got scammed and finessed. And said, damn, bro, like, why, why you ain't... give me the two million? Man, what? I said, bro, these, I said, bro, I said, bro, yeah, I saw bro, that call too. I said, bro, these niggas are that the made biggest me pieces think of it shit. Was more bro. of a skit, any too. Bro, bro, as soon as man, I seen Shout that. out to Aiden Ross. He's getting to it. Um, I don't feel like this was L's for him. I don't feel like this was L's for the rapper. I just feel like it's screaming, but I will move it forward. Mm. I like what you and Remo said. I will be expecting rappers to take the streaming shit more serious moving forward. No, listen, That's also, too, bro, like. Yeah. I think Kyle like touched on this too. Like Kyle and I said, "Hey, bro, stop paying these fucking rappers to come on stream, bro. Like you was fucking the game up, bro. Because one thing we know, bro, mm. is that rappers, when it comes to getting paid, these things is thirsty, right? Yeah. So if it went from yo pull up and fuck with me, I have a hundred thousand people watching, it's gonna boost your shit too. The platform. Yeah. If that's not enough, and you out here paying niggas down two million, now guess what? Mm. Like, if you try to book the B list, C list, D list rapper, yo, to come on." Yo, bro, you know, I need 20000 You feel me? Yeah, but, nah, but bro. But Vlad TV pay for interviews. All, all Like, not all, but most platforms pay celebrities or influencers or big rappers to come on their platform for interviews now. So it, we it, can't say streamers can't pay if you can nah, get paid man, to do like, an interview. I mean, Kassanat had Nicki on there not that long ago, so he's getting a big name artist and shit, too. Yeah. I think this helped Aiden in a minute I, in, a, in a big way. Mm. I feel like for a while, Kassanat was like the center intention of streaming. Mm. He kind of like took over, but I feel like with these last two streams, it kind of got Aiden Ross like back buzzing where everyone At was At least like back in the conversation, yeah. And honestly, like I think I seen where Aiden Ross and Playboy Cardi actually got on FaceTime and they're going to actually do the part two of the stream. Yeah, fair. So I believe yeah. that's why it's real because he's getting so much backlash. He's like, man, fuck that. I'm going to actually do this shit yeah. so my fans can get off my ass. So it says shit. Aiden Ross announces that Playboy Cardi will be returning to his screen for a part two. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. I'll, I'll tap in with that. Hopefully, it's longer than six minutes and 19 seconds. Not facts. No, listen. Skit. Nothing. Listen, right? <laughs> listen, no, no. changing that. No, and, and no, like, there's some old tweets tweets that are like, that that are like, like, um, resurfacing where like, Aiden Ross is dissing, like, like um, it's like dissing Cardi, which is, if I'm Cardi and I seen that you was on Twitter, like, dissing me, mm-hmm. bro, I'm Rob, listen, I'm finessing you too. Cool, cool, cool. So, Drake, um, and... Drake versus Rihanna. Drake says he doesn't want to perform work anymore. One of his uh, best melodic features as far as being like singing yeah. on a song and was a big hit. Number one record in 2016, you I believe. Need to come down, yeah. down, 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 down. So where was he at where this ca- song came on? Do we have a clip? During the yeah. performance. He was performing somewhere. And I don't the understand. DJ played work. He didn't want to perform it. He let the fans perform it. No, right. But I don't understand that part, right? Because you and your DJ already know like your lineup. So, so Take like it the out the sellers. Yeah, right. So like you allow the DJ like to play it and keep it in the set. But then you Petty. A he skit. Another skit. No, well, not a skit. Like he just wanted to. This is a skit. Yeah, these are different forms. Of, when, when y'all hear skit, y'all think acting with a script. Dave Chappelle show. That don't always be skit. skit. Skit could just have a little loose, very loose plot, and this yeah. is what we're going to do. Something that you come up with yeah, on the fly. I agree. With. This one was planned. I feel like Drake definitely knew that this song was going to come on and he. Yeah. He continued because like he's been taking shots at Rihanna like on the last album. Mm. He got yeah. a whole song where he's been dissing her and ASAP Rocky. So like, which is crazy because like let them people they have family they got kids. Sir, pussy you trash supposed though. to? You are so mad. Th- that that's another man's woman. She got kids now. You pussy supposed to show that she was willing to fight niggas over. So yeah. I guess. But yeah, yeah hopefully uh, Drake just doesn't play that. His DJ doesn't play that song anymore. Ooh, right? Or. Is it up to ASAP Rocky now to hair? Yeah, because like he he can't really like shoot Drake because he now got he's bigger issues, already, right? He got bigger issues. Yeah, already shot one nigga allegedly. Is he supposed to drop a diss track now? You don't need to shoot nobody. He, well, he don't put out music, uh, but I wouldn't mind a, a, a Drake diss record from ASAP Rocky. But he don't drop music like hey, that. Hey, listen, so it'll come in two yo, years. Hey, yo, Drake, be careful, bro, because ASAP Rocky was just in a studio with Big Hit. If Big Hit goes right a diss track, man, hey, look alike. Drake, it's over for you, man. Not a Big Hit, Flacco, right? who, you got, who you got in that? Because uh, you named after ASAP Rocky, but Drake your favorite rapper. Um, well, like who? Like who got what? In in, in, in like that, a, like a rap who battle? Who fuck with more? I guess just Drake, right? Uh, Dra- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, I mean, you what? named after fucking ASAP <laughs> Rocky, Drake, of ain't course. It? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Ain't you named after ASAP? And there was a time where ASAP Rocky had had every dark skin nigga in the world calling themselves a pretty nigga. Okay. Did he? What? It's, it's, yeah. it's, three, it's three dark skinned niggas in here right now. Listen, listen, I've been a pretty nigga. You feel me? So, yeah. I wouldn't call Remo dark skin. He's dark skin. He's like brown skin. skin. Oh, guess what? Bro, and, listen, and bro, he's fat too, but he hides his shit well, Here bro. There you go. He's fat. Oh my God. Bro, he hides it. Bro, bro, just because you're not fit doesn't mean you're n- fat. No, bro, he has a huge belly, bro. You have a huge belly. <laughs> no, his belly's bigger than mine. No, it's not. Oh my God. Bro, y'all, bro, I, bro, I see his belly, bro. It's bigger than mine. I'm bro, telling you, bro. Looking at him, your belly is hanging no, from your shirt. Let's no, take our shirts off and let, the, not, let, the, bro, let them decide. Let's do that. Yeah, pull out. Come on. Let's take our shirts off. You, sh- you go first, let's do it. I promise you, I will. Out. You first, come on, you first, go ahead. Ah, you first. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you're not going to do it. I, I swear no, I'll do, do it. it. Let's do it. Listen. You're going to come up out of that's an awful lot of cough syrup no, drip? Not. Listen, he's I'm going to do it. You no, first, let's of course. Listen. No, he's not. He's not. I'm going to no, do it. Remember, you first. Come on. No, they going to tally our stretch cat. marks. I don't believe That's why I'm not taking mine off. They're going to round mine up to the nearest hundred. Listen, bro, I'm telling you, bro, listen, bro, when I felt his stomach, bro, it was huge. Like, it was like, why are you feeling on this man's stomach? Bro, I got a huge stomach, bro. <laughs> it's like a little clown, man. Hey, he, bro, he definitely hit my gut the other day, though, what? for sure. He, oh, your... yeah, on, he oh, definitely patted my gut. Yeah. That's huge. He got a huge stomach, man. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. What? Y'all doing too much. I told y'all earlier not to be like this. He like this. hit his gut earlier. <laughs> Let's it was like, I gotta go. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You wait. said you I'm felt confused. his stomach. Y'all just play too much, man. You hit his gut? Suspect, we oh, almost done. This shit crazy. All right, while suspect going, I'm actually don't want to talk about this topic with him because he won an argument that we had earlier on the news about label situations. So fuck suspect while he's not in the room. Uh Megan Stallion's new distribution deal with Warner Music. I want to talk to you guys about this. Yeah, right. He's like, gonna she's say playing? that she's she's um she's not independent. Right, right, right. 
Some would say that this is independent. I feel like it's not independent. I agree yeah. with Suspect. That's why I'm glad he's not in the room because I wanted to say why he's not here that I agree with him. No, li- no listen. Yeah. I definitely agree, right? Like, this comes across as, like, the chance to rap and play, right? Which is kind of like... Oh, with Apple Music, that bullshit? Yeah, right? Like... Straight to... Yeah, right? Like, I'm taking, like, 10 million from Apple Music, and they're, you know, like, helping me to distribute it and market it, but I'm not independent. But first off, let's... Let's congratulate mm-hmm. her on owning her masters. Of course. She does own 100% of her masters. So that's the, that's the fire part of it. Um, as far as she's not an independent artist, I've been seeing that all over the timeline since she announced the this new deal. songs though, or the like. For I example. think moving forward, she'll own her masters. Oh, okay. And uh, that's what I believe. And um, congrats to Meg on the deal. But all these tweets about oh Meg is independent. No, her deal is with Warner Music. So. Yeah, cool. yeah. It is kind of like listen. Like if you telling me, bro, like she got back, uh, you know, like the masters from the cold hands of Carl Crawford. Mm-hmm. Then that's an accomplishment. But if you, but like if she's getting like the masters like moving, moving forward, forward, yeah, man, bro, like what's a hundred percent of nothing? But no, what? See, this mm-hmm. is where you're wrong because his just debuted at number one on the pop yeah, chart, come on now, and bro. she owns that. So her song, her first song, in, it will be off the charts. Her first song in, in independently, or her first song in her new deal goes number one on the pop charts. Sure, sure. Debuts number one on the pop charts. Sure, look though, right? So look, like, like. This reminds me of the like remember like like when Six Nine like got out of jail, right? And he would just do these extravagant like plays, like where like the song would debut at, at like number one or two, and then it falls off the chart like by next week. Mm-hmm. This is gonna fall off the charts within two weeks. So damn, you can't celebrate having a number one record on the pop charts or debuting them on the pop charts. That's not an accomplishment for a new for artists. It's an accomplishment, but the, if we know though that yo like. Mm-hmm. Like they put like ten million dollars, you feel me, in a box. Oh, you got falling for the okie doke. F- Listen, but well, hold on, yeah. real quick. I feel like it's not just the marketing dollars that was spent on this record. It's also the Nicki Minaj beef that could have amped up the uh, the sales. Sure. How do you guys feel about that? I think that? the beef is really what amped up the sales from it. Nah, bro. The big, I think it, the Bigfoot record, the IG lives, the mm. tweets. Yeah, I think if Nicki and her wasn't bro. beefing, this doesn't go number one. Listen, you saying the bots? I think it's the bots, bro. L- listen, listen, bro. Like six nine has taught us how to go number one, mm-hmm. and right, it's pure bots. Listen, I just don't think that a-, a song, especially like a diss track, right? Hiss. It wasn't really a diss track. It had a one. diss on it. Big Foot is a diss track where the whole song, a majority of the song, is aimed towards an artist. She gave Nicki one bar. She just yeah. Nicki. She just party like she does everybody. Oh Was yeah, it? she had a bar for party, and then she had a bar for Nikki with uh, hey, Joe Budden with too. What well, kinda? Right, right. A like, sub, a sub for Joe Budden. Okay, so you want to call it a diss record? Yeah, right. Okay, cool. Yeah, right. Like, like for example, like the last like diss record that I know that went number one was Back to Back, right? With Drake. Right. This debuted at number one though. Yes, and Back to Back did though. They debuted at number one. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Right, and, and like. It stayed there for like probably like probably like three weeks or so, right? And you saying that this is gonna be down next week? This won't be number one. I oh, yeah. j- listen. I just don't think that this that this record. Mm. I didn't like the record. Authentically mm. went to number one by itself. You saying that? But she had heavy bots. So bots, hmm. and that was part of her distro deal, is what you're alleging. Or that was listen, part of that promotion, part of that um, part of that a- advance went to um, or a lot of her own bots. bots went to that. Right, mm-hmm. part of that shit went to that marketing budget. But that's why the whole streaming shit is all rigged because you can push a button and make an artist go to number yeah. one. Sure, can. but back in the day, you Sony can't, got can't accused really, well, of you buying. You can fake physical copies, but it's harder. Because back in the day, Sony got accused of having warehouses that's filled true. of millions and millions of records yeah. just mm-hmm. sitting there, Not or they would put is. promo only on them, but still scan them. No so sound scan will come up, but it's a promo disc, mm. so uh, that you're giving away for free. Even so, the last like couple of months, right? Listen, bro, like yeah. I was really suspicious of that Jack Harlow shit, right? Like, uh, when said it changed on uh, me, yeah, he uh, went number one. For, 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 bro, listen to for like ten weeks though, mm. right? Like, right? Like, and he just again, like he just he just he just like never fell off, right? But 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 then too though, I feel like we give like Jack Harlow like a pass, right? Meaning like, mm. how many more? Black old school samples right. that we ain't never heard of. Mm. Take it, remix it, and have a number one hit. He's on Generation now, so you have dudes like Drama and Lake and Don Cannon. You got real experienced executives in the business that know how to place the record. So I can't fault you for having 
pit makers and good ears, great ears around you. Can't really take points away for that. I will say that um, with Meg, the follow up, the follow up to the Bigfoot record got to be hot. It's not yeah. hot. You don't think she's gonna have another record? No. Like this is the end of the beef. It went his Bigfoot, then the beef is over. I don't think so. I feel like it should have no, came I, out already. I, I, right? I'm saying hits wise, right? Like I just don't see her dropping mm. another record that debuts on Billboard at like top ten. Yeah, I would agree. If she switch it up, she can't. Cause she's talented, but she has to switch up her flow and her hard. approach to record making. It's so she's the baby. She's really the female, the baby to me. Like you make the same record over and over. That's all you can do. Hey, the baby knew she would bezo hard. I haven't heard it. It's different. It's, it's brand new or something? Yeah, it oh. just came out like last week, I want to say. Okay, okay. A couple days oh, ago. Oh, yeah, we yeah. should have put that in a new music review. It's, it's fire. Um, You guys want to talk about this? Kobe Lane says that Tupac is his favorite African artist. Yeah, not really. Because African, African American. Hey, yeah. Some people put Tupac's it all in the same group. Tupac's never been to Africa. Like, Some people put it in the same group. Sure. African, African American. So, don't tell camera on that. Some no. people do. You know, tell, listen, listen. I don't, but some people listen. Do. Whatever we do, don't let Tariq Nasheed see this too, right? Post, right? Mm. But wait, I. Right, so you don't believe? So you disagree, right? I don't think that he's African. He's African American, cool, but he's yeah. not African. So if somebody asks you your favorite. If you're talking about your favorite African artist and you say yeah. Tupac Shakur, somebody yeah. that never stepped foot in Africa, most likely, sure. it's like yeah. And or like Kabi is like a foreigner. Like he's like he's French, but he's African as fuck. All oh, right, 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 right. So like. Yeah, like me personally, I feel like it's disrespectful to African Americans, right? Because y'all have a distinct culture, yeah. right? And we know you Africans don't like to be mixed up with us either. No, 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 Mm. And that's being now like taken away and saying, yeah. oh, "Oh no, he's our shit." Mm. I feel like that's you know right, like right. You feel me? You know by you know, this nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. All right, good luck. I don't even. I don't even know who that is. Y'all know he makes he like the TikToks. Followers. Yeah, like he, he has makes like, like TikTok. He does this. He does that. What you just did. That's what he but, does. Nah, but he lit, right? He'll make that face. He'll and do I didn't this. even know that. He'll shrug oh, oh, like this. I don't and know that nigga. He'll go viral I don't know all over. He do. No, but that don't know, mean bro. he's changing anything. Nobody. Yeah, gives I don't up. think his opinion is gonna have people like yo. You nah, changing the perspective. No. Maybe in Africa, if Tupac yeah, bro, is an African American no, or, or bro, he lit, bro. Like just because, because you're lit, don't mean yeah. That. Show, show me. But he the word influence, influencer, that their influence is very, is very minuscule. Bro, listen, bro. Just because you got them followers, this nigga right here, man. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna ask y'all, okay, if we're not gonna go off streams with the Meg thing before we wrap this up, yeah. was we gonna how do you like then gauge it's success then? Fun. Are you talking about like profit margin? How much is the artist making liquid? Or are we talking about maybe you wanna go off tickets, ticket sales? Like how, if we say streams can be push the button, it's fake, physical sales, warehouses full of millions of records. Does it matter though? No, no, no. Bodies in the yeah. in the in the seats matter like ticket yeah, sales. I feel like that no. definitely matter. That's yeah. a way to gauge it. Like who tours the most? No, right, what well, here? So that because yeah, you got all them streams and you can't get nobody to come see you perform. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Okay. No, and it's flawed though. But I'm still saying like even though we like we know it's flawed, like we still have to take it as is, right? Meaning like why? If you just said that somebody just brought bots, you just accused this artist of buying bots sure. to get a number one rec debut at number one, why yeah. would I then next week be talking about who's number one? You yeah. just debunked the whole no, thing. No, 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 look. If the, I were going no, off what no, you're saying. Wait, 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 but look the right, so look, like for example, right, like we know, right, like for example, in like the 90s, right, that niggas used to like buy, like buy their, right, like buy their own CDs, right, right, so, right, right, so it's kind of like, yes, we know that this system it's flawed, but it's the best system that we have yet, right? Right? Like, so, like, for example, like, I don't think that, like, Michael Jackson records or, right, like, has to be, like, yo, like, hey, 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 right? Because, look, because he sold, like, what, like, 10 million copies, right? Like, right. first week. So, I don't think that we can say, yo, like, him selling, like, 10 million copies first week, like, doesn't matter. Because at that time, there was niggas who was buying, like, right? right. So, I feel like with the streaming shit, it's flawed, but... It's still the best system that we currently have now to to, to like for me to figure out like who's lit. I feel like I once label get a better one though. Once labels stop going off of the streams thing, it will be a better culture. Definitely. Yeah, better streams, music. I feel like streams is robbing niggas, bro. Yeah. Niggas yeah. is getting 
cents of a penny of a fucking nickel of a penny. Fractions of a penny Fractions is crazy. Of price. Yeah. It's insane. At least with physical sales, you would get a actual penny a record, a three pennies a record, true. a seven pennies a record, a thirty three pennies a record. Facts. Shout out to true, Uptown right? Records and LaFace. No, true. Um, so let's move past this Tupac thing. NBA young boy, uh, footage leaked. Fans are accusing him of telling. You guys want to talk to me about this clip? I haven't seen. Yeah, it. Josh, can we look like like go to like Rack Rarest and pull the clip and then go to like two minutes and five seconds? So uh, here, so like, and here's the backstory. So Yaya Mayweather, Floyd's daughter, yep. and Amber Young Boy, baby mama, were engaged at the time, right? Okay. And he had a girlfriend in the house as well. So, so she's also there, and yeah, right. And right, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, this no. is after the stabbing incident. I know yeah, what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Go to like, like, like the YouTube page. So this is old footage that just leaked. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah right. Somebody, I'm telling you, somebody's leaking this foot. These footages. A fact. No. So the girlfriend is there, and he's telling her to leave. And she says, "No, I'm not. Like, I am your fiance. I am not leaving because mm-hmm. you have your girlfriend in this bitch. Not happening." So then, so so uh, right. So the young boy told his girlfriend. To get Yaya and out the crib. So then, once the girlfriend now starts to attack her, mm-hmm. she grabbed the knives to defend herself. To defend herself. That's why she got let off. Yeah. For like uh, probation or something, right? Yeah. And you can go <coughs> for like two minutes because it's like a five minute clip. All right, let, let me play that real quick. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta turn it up. It's too low. No, 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 like this is how it is. And then she went for the nice. She went for the nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. But she ain't got on no violence. She ain't got on no She not on no violence. She, she went for the nice, but she not on no violence. She's trying to help. He wait, can't wait, say wait, she we didn't did. get the knife. Yeah, but let's not. He could not say nothing. It's not. It, it, it's in your house and you on probation all kind of shit. No, you can't. Yeah. No, you can't. You're going to jail. Uh, Judge Paul? And it's domestic, bro. It's not snitch. This is not oh, snitching. I don't care either way. I'm, not, yeah, I, I, I'm yeah. not mad at someone not interpreting snitching. as that. Yeah, listen. But I, again, I don't care either way. It's not snitching. L- listen, I don't care he told, right? But here's the argument for people saying he snitched, right? So she's being an interviewed. He's unaware of what she's currently confessing to. Mm-hmm. He states... Yo, I told her to leave my house. She ain't want to leave my house. I told my girlfriend to drag her out. And, and she that grabs a knife. Her. That yeah, yeah, her. Yeah. yeah, right. So look, so she grabs a knife. She holds it like this, mm-hmm. but she hits her with the knife. But she ain't mean to hit her with a knife. So meaning this, right? Yeah. If I watch you, you know, like shoot somebody, right? And then I say, man, man, bro, listen, yo, like. And he's a good dude, man. And he ain't mean to like shoot that man. Mm-hmm. Do you not realize that that goes from murder to manslaughter? With the, with, with, it with could the, help, but it also could helps. hurt. It also sure, could hurt right? because you confirmed if that you that person already, did it. But so say the judge was three information witnesses though. that's already saying you're a murderer, uh-huh. and then that one says, "Nah, he the one who's actually there, house it is. Nah, he didn't do that. It was he did. It was accident, though. No, no, you can't that. No, you can't tell me well, if getting me a lesser charge for murder to no, manslaughter isn't helping me no, no, because what, that's a scene. But that's how that, no, that no, might have worked out. But it could have went the other way. You saying that saying it's an accident? That's manslaughter. Wait, wait. If it's me, the John and somebody else. Arguing, right? Arguing, so right? Never went to fucking wait, wait, jail about jail. Wait, 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 if it's me, the John, and somebody yeah. else, right? Uh-huh. And the cops come and they see that person is shot. Yeah. Again, I'm unaware what the John is admitting to. The cops just come and see and see a person is shot, and I volunteer said, "Man, listen, man." And he shot him, man, but he didn't mean to shot him. <coughs> I'm just saying. Based on their definition of giving information to 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 the cops, I'm going with what 1090 Jake said. Just all, all I'm saying I'm is that 1090 this Jake footage said. could yeah. be played in court. Of course, 1090 it, said it, it ain't could, snitching. It ain't I'm snitching. not. I don't care if it is or isn't. Yeah. All I'm saying is that this footage mm-hmm. could be played in court, whether it helps or it hurts. This is footage versus him being quiet versus footage of him just sitting there not saying anything. Footage of him talking about the incident in this way could have he been played in court. He confessed he had a knife. So I can see how people are saying the what they're saying. I yeah. have no opinion on the outside of that. Yeah, hey, listen, if he told I'm more interested uh, in, yeah, if he told, he told, I don't care. I, I could care yeah. less. I'm more interested in the photo he posted today. Could we get that up of a, like a mouthful of Xanax or some type of pills? Mm-hmm. Did you guys see those photos? Yeah, I've seen it. Bro, he's oh, open right now, man. Flacco did some Paul shit and put his name over the um, 
What? What are you talking Flacco, about? Flacco, Dis I saw someone on jumper shit. page. No, Flacco, Dis and Paul shit and put mm-hmm. Poetic Flacco over the tongue and put his, he put his name in his Go mouth. Go to Flacco's page. Well, yeah, this is the post. Put yeah. his name in his mouth. I, you see, I started with a nice, wholesome picture, and then you have oh, to swipe no. over. Yeah. Oh, Flacco put his name in his mouth. You, why would you do that? Because we can't post drugs oh, on Instagram. He could have put an emoji. He could he put his name Them in his mouth. Them was uh, Cheeklets. Oh, where? Yeah, it's Bubblegum. Oh, I thought it was like Xenex. <laughs> no, I misspoke. Oh, I. Right. Yeah, but how y'all feel about them photos? Listen, man, uh, if the nigga try to be a drug fiend, let him be a drug fiend. <laughs> but when he dies... Please don't come here asking for our sympathy. I will definitely be expressing prayers. You feel me? You know, that's my that's go-to. I've been saying this shit that's for my years, go-to. y'all finally seen it. Every time I get on camera, I've been saying he been popping bars, and that's why he's wild. I've been saying this, yeah. and now it's coming out. You feel I've me? Been God, saying, man, you can Zanx, tell so. when he on camera that he on Zans yeah, and shit. He's on Zans, like, yes, bro. He's and shit. Chance the Rapper had a battle with us. Hey, addiction. I don't bother. Yeah, like, we're, we're out of that. Get out of that. Wait, how was he... Abusing drugs I because don't just when when you, you might have bond, a prescription and, you can abuse it though, right? Yeah, you can. You can do what you want when you're rich. You have a prescription, and I'm on bond. I don't get drug tested. Oh, well, where? If you're not on a drug case, you can yeah. get high as you want to. Hey, yo, court. I'm not on a drug case. I don't get. He can smoke weed. Yeah, I, and same thing. I'm not on a drug case. I'm fighting the case right now. I'm not on a drug case. Honest. Oh wait, I think. But he's oh, different. Oh, like yeah. if 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 his probation don't got nothing to do with drugs, he's not getting drug tested. He's fine. I'm thinking this whole time he facing them cigarettes like that because he couldn't smoke no weed. Nah, he just likes cigarettes. He be hotboxing and facing cigarettes. But okay, shout out to uh, NBA young boy. I'm sending my prayers, Flacco. I know you hate that. I'm sending my prayers. Isn't he like what? Like, 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 what like, like a 24, 25? <coughs> I don't want to see nobody with a mouthful of Xenix. He's a grown ass man. I know, but I don't want to see nobody with a mouthful of Xenix. I'm praying for him. What's wrong with that? Okay, so yes, right? So you... Exercising like compassion is perfectly fine, but I'm just saying, it's like, why is this grown ass man thinking it's cool to, like, it comes across as yo, I'm a teenager and I'm rebelling, right? So ha, Xanax, right? No, but maybe he's not he's grown high. in the head. Maybe it's he's not for help. Grown. He won't help. He's high as fuck. Yeah. I don't think that's a ha, I'm so cool. Well, I got these Zans in my mouth. I think, nigga, I, you ain't never did no Zans. Zans have you completely out of your mind. You're not thinking it's like straight. Eat your brain up. Yeah, you're not thinking straight. You're a completely different person. So it's like that shit puts you in a completely different mind state. Like he's not in the right mind. He's I've been not off open bars. for help. I don't feel like he's open for help. He's a, anytime somebody tries to say something to him, he get, get defensive. And his and music, he, he said he won't help. Yeah. Uh, he has sixty million million dollars. He could get help if he wants to. Like right? a drug the best, counselor. The best rehab, best bro. He has sixty million dollars. He can get whatever he want to do. How you know he didn't ask for rehab? And because you can, you can ask for rehab, and they can say no house arrest. No, you can do. He that. left rehab. Like he told. Um, I think is is like. Who like Kev, right? Yeah, right. They're like, yo, like, I just left rehab, right? Right. So well, like, it's he, clearly not working. Unless them is really chicklets, really bubble gum. It, rehab's not working. Oh, he's other, trolling. maybe he's trolling. Any us. other opinions on this? No, he's I trolling, think he huh? just fraud and he just on Zan. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't really too much to it. He's I really think fan. it is stupid though. Like, damn, you got all these kid fans and shit that you know looking up to you. Why you on there posting? A picture with you with eight Zans, like, yeah. in my life. I agree. You don't get to choose if you're a role model. It's like, tough. you just become a role model. You don't have no say in it because kids are looking up to you. So why, we won't tell you what to do in your personal life, but why are you posting it where you know so many children follow you, now they're going to want to have a mouthful of Zans and take them type of pictures, X, Y, Z. And who's the people around you to let you be doing shit like that anyway? Like, I don't think nobody let man, him You can't nothing. let a nigga, you can't stop a nigga doing Her, when right? you live, when you live in world? his house. Yeah. You live off He'll his money. He'll tell you money. to leave. He's the richest nigga and he supports everything you do. So unless right. you're willing to be broke over another man's drug habit, you're just right. going to shut the fuck up. I see why they be deleting his Instagram all the time because shit like that. Yeah, Hell they yeah. need to delete his Instagram. He's been doing wild shit like this for years. He, nigga, he, y'all don't remember when he used to have them episodes in the backseat? Nigga just <sighs> wilding the fuck out saying random shit. Nigga, he'll be in the backseat, somebody driving, and he'll just be talking crazy off I always bars. thought it was Heron, but to find out it's Xanax. Is, mm, cool. It makes okay. so much sense. Because I just assume Louisiana, Heron. All right, next next time. Right, that's crazy. We're not done. No, we yeah, got our like, new music we, review. Yeah, yeah, new music review. Wait, is it raining? Yeah, it's raining. And nah, don't be rushing yeah. the screen. We're gonna say why our album's falling off for next week. Let's get into the new music review. Being the butcher, everybody can't go. Do you guys have any thoughts on it? I have some notes. Listen, I was like, that shit put me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait though. Uh, nah, listen, Benny is a. He's a great rapper. He is, bro. right? I don't want to hear that shit. Production was great, bro. But like, 
Me personally, bro, when I listen to, for example, a dude like Benny the Butcher, like the only like what I'm looking for, bro, like is like like for example, right? Um, that shit was a Muslim sex tape. What? A Nigga, Muslim sex tape. What's the name of the song? That shit was a Muslim sex tape. Uh, what's that shit? He tried to do like so. I, it was a Muslim I, sex tape, nigga. J- yeah, he worked with Hit Boy Alchemist on primary uh, production on the project. I love the intro. Um, he has an artist from LA named Kyle Banks singing on one of the records. He signed uh Red Bull. My favorite record is uh Pillow Talk and Slender. Good I boy, feel like man. the record should have been called Old Me because both him and Jada Kiss verse was them addressing their old self. And I was really related to the record because they were talking about stuff. If they could go back in time, what would they tell their younger self? Like, be more confident. Watch out for these niggas. X, Y, Z, who was there for me and whatnot. I really fuck with the concept of that record. <clears throat> There's a record called Buffalo Kitchen Club that has Armani Caesar. So Armani Caesar is the, like, the female, first, the first lady of Griselda. Yeah. And so she has a fire reversal on there. Remind me of like a junior mafia firm type thing. Uh, Grise- <clears throat> the entire Griselda posse makes an appearance on Griselda Express. like a posse cut. Um, Lil Wayne is on the Big Dog record. Yes, fire feature. Hey, listen, right wasn't to, talking about shit, but my fire bad. feature. Not the being the butcher. That's what I meant for for Kevin Gates. I, I thought we. I thought oh, you said like, Muslim Kevin sex Gates, tape for yeah, Kevin Gates ceremony. Shit. It was a Muslim sex tape. Yeah, no, no, no it no, was no. weird as fuck. Yeah, right. No, when it, it comes was a to freaky like, album, yeah. it was a Muslim sex, but like yeah, rituals. But yeah. Uh, no, yeah, when it came to like, so sorry, right? When it came to like the Big Dog shit, right? My bad, Benny. That wasn't for you. The Lil Wayne record. Yeah, right. And I was expecting like that to be like a Johnny P. Caddy too, okay. Right, right, like, right, like uh, again, maybe it's because, like, because, like, for example, right, like we hold him to like a certain standard when it comes, Wayne? To, huh? Wayne or Benny? No, Benny, right? Mm-hmm. You feel me, right? Again, it's a good project. It's not bad, bro. But like, yeah, was this like a spectacular, like, like filled with fifteen Johnny P. Caddies? No, I feel like this is a a, a solid debut. It's his Dev Jam debut. Yeah. Um, Snoop Dogg gave him the deal when he was chairman of Def Jam, creative chairman or whatnot, creative consultant chairman or whatnot. Mm. He gave him the deal. I feel like it's a solid Def Jam debut. He did say on the pre- Breakfast Club that his next project is going to be filled with lady records. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. But those are my favorites from this. Uh, Kevin Gates dropped the ceremony, so you said it was too freaky and too. Yeah, Islamic. it was a Muslim sex tape. That's what I got from the okay. whole album. Muslim sex tape. Every song, freaky as a bitch. What was the one song? <laughs> um... <laughs> I like the young um, the Yonsei record with BG and Sexy Red. That was ratchet and fun. Uh, no, no, Walmart no. was dope. I like his the song baritone. Eater. That Eater. was Muslim sex tape. Complete <laughs> Muslim sex tape. I don't the know what you mean by Muslim sex good, tape. The niggas you got a. What do you mean by Muslim sex tape? What does that sound He's like? He's talking about. All I think a kinda, fiesta like the R. Kelly record kinda, when you say Muslim. Allah walk by as I'm eating her butt. This is a Muslim sex tape. It oh, was weird as fuck. Yeah. He could have trimmed some of them records. I wrote down that it was uh he had 17 records. He could have trimmed two or three of them records off then with no, some skips. Yeah. No, uh no, let's no yeah, right. Was yeah, it back. not a Muslim sex tape. But yeah, my favorite is uh the BG Sexy Red record off that one. The fact I like the intro, the ceremony song was all right. Uh-huh. Other than that, I, I wasn't really. We also have Fredo Bang's Yes, I'm Sad. Oh, yeah. Listen. Which also has a Kevin Gates record on it. My Listen, favorite song I, on there is Sideways. Bro, I, bro, like I Tina enjoyed Turner. I like Tina Turner. It was Turner. pretty good. That's pretty good. No, bro. Yeah. I listen, Fredo Bank to me, like listen, I, I think this mixtape separated him from Young Boy very well because a lot of people yeah. would like put them in the same boat or like mm-hmm. same music kind of category. And I think this one separated him. He don't him. go off the rails like Young Boy be going off the rails. He don't, but he's evolving beat, though. Their beat choice is usually very, very similar. Okay. Mm-hmm. Their topics are usually very, very YouTube similar. He went beats, different. YouTube topics. Uh, so Rick Ross is on the NLE Chopper, Rob 49. Yeah. Uh, the Ring Ring record with Kevin was fire. I also wrote down Come Through. Um, and again, T- Tina Turner was my favorite record on there. Nothing here, right? So listen, mm-hmm. a perfect album, but if I'm him, though, mm-hmm. I'm taking off that Free Melly record, bro. Like, bro, like, aren't you like, like being like subpoenaed as a witness? Like, like why are you saying like free this nigga? So free that nigga. You no, died. no, listen, no, no, bro. But he actually, listen, like, I know it, he's involved in the case, but so what? Well, yes. That nigga, freedom of speech, nigga. He can't put listen, a record America. Out? Yes, the all fuck? right. But though, and he shocked me, right? Because maybe it's because, like, it's been a while, like, since I've heard, like, the Fredo Bank project. Right, right. But I was shocked, like, he wasn't, like, on some, like, surface level. 
<laughs> shoot you, kill you. Like, like he was you actually that like was the point is called yeah. Yes, I'm sad. Why would he elevate go shoot his shit? Like, yeah, like, I was shocked. Called, yes, I'm sad. All right, so we yeah. also you guys added your uh, song submissions today, so I didn't get a chance to listen to them. Mm. But you guys can tell me about them. Yeah, yeah. put them in a little I earlier next week, and I'll listen to them. Shit. No, hey, right. I'm not explaining songs to niggas. I'm hey, just listen. saying, yeah. send, yeah. Go send them in a day it. before, and I'll listen to it. Yeah. I, I sent my, I need I sent my shit in before. Hour, nigga need 24 hour notice to listen to. When I'm filming on, yes, when I, I filmed on the yeah. show this morning. And I, had the, I had the social media page all afternoon. I've been up here all day. Yes, you guys didn't sing your songs until today. You could have sent yeah. this in a couple hey, days ago. All it takes is me. It, it just takes 60 seconds for me to sit down, listen to the song, be yeah. like this, some Muslim sex tape, and then move on. Well, no, I like to take notes on stuff, and and you feel me, really sit with it. So at yeah. least give me a day or a night. Ahead, f- moving forward, I ask, yeah, please, 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 please. No, but tell me about these artists. TJ Six back uh, backballing. Who put that? Oh, uh, I put that. TJ Six. Yeah. He, he he backdrop music. Go check that out. Uh, I think all three songs was yours. The only song I added was uh, Boss Man D Lo. Get in with me. I know that one because it's Bad Bitch Fifty Four Eating a Bachi. Right, yeah. that's that record. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's I that, love. Uh, that's my favorite bar. He a super bar right, like, right now. Like, like, Rick Ross, shit. baby mama made yeah, it viral, bro. and then I love yeah, hibachi. I spent a lot of money on hibachi, and so yeah, shout out to the hibachi bar. What kind? That's what you call motherfucking bars, nigga. You know nothing hibachi. about that. Listen, the last time I ate hibachi was when your brother scammed me, bro. Like, listen, so like they like so. So like they charged me so the it's regular at least price, forty dollars at least you spend at least forty dollars no, to get some good about you with the right but look though yeah. no so I thought though so when I came there the price I seen right was like eighteen twenty one cool but then when I asked for That's basic. right I asked for steak you want a combo steak and and steak? salmon. And the shrimp, and it charged me forty five dollars. Three proteins? Yeah, bro, for forty five dollars. Uh, no, I'll do it's two. Crazy. I'll do chicken and salmon or chicken and steak. I can't do three proteins. Bro, listen, bro. I said, bro. I said never again. Fried rice with some veggies. I normally throw the veggies out. But... That's nuts. We, we, we could tell. <laughs> yeah. He definitely thought it. Yeah, I thought throwing the away veggies steamed out. veggies is crazy. He's like, ugh, like at least yeah. put them in some tin pork batter and fry them up. But y'all think those TJ X six though? Listen. Because right now, uh, I feel like scam rap is not as popular as it was, but right now, there is a lane for it. He's not just fully scam rapping, though. Like, he's more evolving into just Detroit rap. Is this song, I haven't heard, so is this song it's scam? It's more just, just Detroit rap now. Nah. Okay. Yeah. He's not scam rapping. Speaking of Detroit, remember we did the Listening to Your Music uh, mm-hmm. yeah. segment last time, and it was that Detroit guy with long hair. His name was Detroit Zeus. He was being melodic. Remember that? I think he was so. was in there, Me, You, Damn Homie. Mm-hmm. Detroit he Zeus? He popped out. He came and competed in the show. Yeah. Yes, he flew out here to compete in the rap poor car show. Word. I was like, I know you from somewhere. I was like, you was on listening to your music stream. Hmm. That's what's up. Yeah, that's Wait, that's, that's fire though. I'll fuck with yeah, that. Yeah, that was fire. He did good, so he, he, he did his thing. Nah, that's uh, what what's what's for. RX Poppy? Four hour drive to Elmira. You put that in there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's and I like that song. Yeah, RX Poppy is crazy. You wouldn't yeah. you wouldn't feel no real nigga shit like that. What region yeah, you from? Yeah, I like it. Uh, he is from uptown New York, I believe, upstate. So like, oh, like Buffalo or something? I think so. Like That's Rochester, like some shit like Rochester, that. Rochester, okay. Yeah, Rochester. Yeah, yeah he's from Rochester. All right, Poppy is fire. I, I, right, and I yeah, heard... Bossman D Lo, his shit is buzzing right now. He got I'm the on the radar freestyle song. going crazy. Yeah. And then Rick Ross, baby mama, playing his song on that coked up IG Live helped a lot too. So yeah, yeah shout out no, to No, uh, I tapped into the Benji song. Now, I liked his on the radar like shit better though. So what's this Santo Santal three three thirty three? What's up? Yeah, fire! All all of uh, Benji Bluebird music right now is pretty good. Yeah, okay. no, no, let's no. Is like, that it, the one that's Cardi's op or mm-hmm. yeah, that you were telling me about? Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. The shit you played from him was fire. So I'll tap in with these uh, four yeah. artists. And that's all music. I run, homie. Yeah, that's all. Listen, I listen to Out of Bounds right by uh, Benji. That's all I listen to. That's my to favorite right shit. Now. Yo, yo, listen. I don't like that song. Yo, I like listen, Cardi what he songs, said. But I don't like that one. Listen, right. So look, like, and like, we're like, for example, right? Like, people, like, if you really like tap, like tap, like tap, like, tap, like into Cardi shit, uh-huh. bro. Like, and he's rapping about like, like beefing. And, like, for example, right? He said Ola runs got poke for a pie, right? Free problem child. Yeah, I said, bro. Like, people don't really associate like Cardi with like the right, like with like the yo. I'm a gangster rapper. It's because this and killing niggas, beefing just niggas. Popped up in it's the last 18 it's yeah. soft core trap. That's how I market, not market. That's how I put his music. 
That's yeah. how I label it. It's softcore trap. It's not hardcore trap. It's like softcore trap. It's still trap in a, in like essence. Yeah. But it has like it's just soft. It's like almost like a girl wrote it. Yeah, bro. He be dissing this. Hardy dissing dissing though. If you know what's going on, slick. he don't have it. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah bro. He but be real dissing, slick, yeah, subliminal type dissing. Yeah. Uh, that's been a, that's been our new music review. I want you guys to head over to nojumper.com, click on promo, get them live stream events plays, social media article features, all that good stuff. If you're an artist or an influencer. Also, if you don't live in LA, make sure you click on uh, apparel or shop and get some good old no jumper merch. Remo has some on uh, right now. I'll have on some next episode. Uh, if you live in LA, you can go to 765 Melrose Avenue. Pull up. Buy some merch. Might catch one of us there. And meet us. Uh, get in the booth, shoot your shot. We'll talk about it here on the show. Uh, again, no jumper shows tomorrow, right? Yeah. And then Wednesday, no statements. Uh, this is Here We Go Again. We'll see you guys next week. I'm Dijon Paul. All right, perfect. Uh-huh. This is Michael Jackson and Jack.